Ah, no. It's bongus time. Uh, one second, I'm selling up the music still. Save to playlist. This playlist. Uh, I think trying to replicate. Okay, then just adding a song back into a playlist and the fucking original version of it got taken down so that I can uh, listen to my Yu Gi Oh! playlist and have my favorite song in it. Perfect. You listen to best Yu-Gi-Oh song, baby. That's fucking loud on my end. It's an arbitrary. You can win only if I lose. Destiny choose. Now let's clean off my tablet. Because it always fucking gets dirty in this dusty ass house. So. <laughs> Come on, I can feel the wind it's blowing. Where did I just put my cleaning cloths? I sat down with some. There they are. <laughs> I sat down with some. I didn't fucking. Don't know where I fucking put them. <laughs> Oh, am I? That was the right song. I'm like, did I exit the playlist for some reason? It's like, no, that's the next song. I wonder if this part of the song is even supposed to be audible. I think if it's actually words, if it's just a guy going, Dabber, 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 Hoomer. Oh my god, there's like a tent on. Okay, whatever. There we go. Pen. Love. All right, here we go. First, I gotta pick out like a pose, a very Yu Gi Oh! y pose that I wanna draw. Yu Gi Oh! Character renders. I want to more capture the older, the way older style. Like, like it keeps a consistent style for this when it's the same animation team, honestly, because they've only recently switched animation studios. But even the older styles, it, like they look different. Where's the source? There's that source. They like they look a little different between styles. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds looks all very different from Zexel. I would say. Like some, I'm looking for very Yu-Gi-Oh! like poses. The characters, even when they're not holding dual discs, stand in some very particular ways. Hold on, I'll screen capture. Yu-Gi-Oh! renders. And show what I'm looking at. See, that's like, oh, that's not fan art. Is that fan art? I think that's a fan art piece. You're seeing, like, even when, like, like, you got very Yu Gi Oh! like poses here, where they just they stand in very particular ways. Who added me? 
I'm not going to click on an audio thing while I'm on stream. Like, I might want to go for, like, this kind of armor I use. That is more Yu-Gi-Oh! specific, though. Oh, hi, someone gave him... Gave him, like, sleeves. He looks good with sleeves. I didn't see a pose I wanted to do. Where is it? I want to do Crowler's pose. I love Crowler, and I think the po this pose works good for what I'm going to be doing. Let's just move this up here. What brush do I have? Oh, that's a brush I have. Okay, now I'm going to actually look up a specific character, so I don't want them on this on screen. You know, it's actually <laughs> that's that's strange. Oh, let me type a render. Yeah, specific, like high quality stances that are very reference image like. That's another character who fits a visual description, visual match for what I want. Ah, uh, we want. Are there any characters that have ponytails in Yu-Gi-Oh? Who has a ponytail? Rebecca does. Rebecca. Rebecca Render. Ah, uh, she has like pigtails, but her her hair still fits kind of what I want. So I don't yoink a render of her too as reference for a reference photo. Then I want who else? Who else? Who else? What character is the? Is, oh wait, because I'm drawing. I'm drawing a character who actually there. I'm drawing Tilly, and Tilly's character has giant tits. So, a reference image of a character who would have giant tits in Yu-Gi-Oh, who's like a human, because the monsters are kind of drawn differently than the people. I would say. So I can't just do like, so I can't just do like Stein or uh Hi Harpy Lady. They have kind of big boobs, but they also wouldn't have renders. Characters are usually the only ones who get renders. What's up? Blue Angel, when she's like Blue Lady, I usually think her final name is. Or is this Blue Girl? Blue Girl Render. I can hate that name, Blue Girl. Blue Maiden is her final form. That's what it made. Blue Maiden renders. Pretty sure Blue Maiden has. No, she's not actually. What Yu Gi Oh characters am I thinking? There are some that actually have canonical big boobas. And, you know, I'll yoink a Blue Maiden render because why not? It'll be useful. It can't hurt to yoink a render. Sure. Come on. There we go. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Let's do Ishizu. I think Ishizu might have the biggest boobs of any character. Okay, now I need a Tilly reference. In her suitable for work Discord, cause now uh, she has that, so that's good. Brilliant! I have a ton of renders now. On. It's really hard to pan through all these in the on this, so I'm gonna select them all and rename them to a short name. And then I'm going to drag them all in. There. Just give them a few letter names so it's easier to pan through them. 
Draw all these up to the top. What'd you just say, Tux? No, I'm just getting references because I'm mimicking an art style. So I need to see how the art style looks on various characters all at once. So I like I'm doing his pose or a pose similar to his. So I got a pose reference for, in the art style. So I'm going to move that here. This is going to be the most important one. And then I got Tilly, who's going to be the person I'm drawing. And then characters who I think will help me draw Tilly. Like, like obviously, female character, blonde, because Yu-Gi-Oh! has very bright blonde colors rather than darker ones. Plus boobs. Ishizu, purely because she has the biggest boobs of any female character, and Tilly has massive boobs, so, you know? And I don't, Blue Girl, just because, you know, I need another, or Blue Maiden, this is Blue Maiden. Why is there so many water droplets on this render? That's so, I don't like this render. This is weird render. And then, where is she? Uh, here we go. And then we have Rebecca, who's another blonde character that has the back of her hair. Like, the back section of her hair kind of looks like Tilly's, so I can do a lot with this. So, let me just... Yeah, because the pose, we don't need much of the pose visible. We don't need much of Tilly visible, because we won't need her for a bit. Okay, now time to actually do it. Fuck. Why are my glasses dirty? Oh my god. Give him a fucking quick wipe off. Yeah, how are character purports? Crowler's a tall character, so probably he's not gonna be as tall. She's probably gonna be like like a Shizu. I think Shizu's pretty short. Who's pretty short? What are some short characters in Yu-Gi-Oh? Like she's no, she's just kinda tall, isn't she? I think the shortest character. Oh, I've accidentally full screened it. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, Rebecca might be the shortest character, <laughs> and I think she's like uh, Tilly's height. Tilly's. Oh, fuck! I don't have a full render. I well, her legs will probably only go to, like, right here. Like, right where I'm waving my mouse, but you can barely see it on screen. Right there. So, how many heads is that in Yu-Gi-Oh? Bye. If I get a line and I make it red, so it's easy to see. The head probably ends around... Oh, that's... I didn't know that's how big the brush was. Yeah, so if it's like, yeah, about like four and a half heads. One half head height. That visually helps quite a bit, I think. Yeah. 
Okay, let's see. Crowler is looking at a slight angle. Any of my other any of my other references at three fourths are about the tilt. Blue main kinda of, this this render looks off. I'm just gonna ditch that render. I don't like it. Hate it. Not like four and a half heads. Oh my god, why does my tablet feel so funky today? And I just have proportions. That's fucking loud. Oh my god. Let's move. Let's. Come on. It's not with her head. It's not a render where her head's turned. There you go. This is an older render, but it's still the same art style, so I don't care. Uh, it's tilted. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. Yeah, except yeah, the older one, the the head is very, like sharp. It's very diamond shaped. Well, but I I know how, I you know I know that it's not like that in. In them, the, like the styles I like.
Yeah, I think I'm gonna start by like designing a hair. I think I'm doing a separate layer because it's gonna be difficult. Shoot, who's that like rich girl who has a Oh, check. Earth. Um, Who's the user of the lizard? Her, I'm trying to think of her, because she has a more normal hairstyle. Misty, that's her name. Misty Treadwell. Because, yeah, she has more normal hair, so using her will... Getting her as a reference will help me more normalize the hair. Yeah, see more normal hair. I gotta get the hairline in. Since I think every character's hairline is somewhat visible in in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like I don't think anyone has a hidden hairline, even if they have like fucking bangs. I'm gonna start with the back of the hair. Anime hair vents. I think of Tilly some vents, maybe. Tilly's hair goes to her shoulder. About here. Or, not shoulder. Past shoulder, mid back. Just like here. Oh, I hate this Yu Gi Oh theme. I just have it in the playlist for fucking. Just because it's a song from the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. I'm not playing this to put only the good songs to play this to the fucking... Of, of every song. Where's, um, here she is. She has more, she has, the back of her hair is the part I want to reference on this one. Fuck, why not my brain's kind of melting with all the hair? Brain, can you please fucking function for this line? Yeah, 
Yeah, Yinga has a lot of much harsher stopping points on the lines. I don't think that makes any sense to anyone except me. It's helping me visualize how to fucking draw. Yes, we're not in the front of the hair now because I'm just here already. I know about the last one. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do it. It's not to go immediately. Look at this fucking weird ass hair vent on Rebecca. The fuck? Look at that hair vent. <laughs> so fucking weird. We're already on the Giga of Rain songs? Oh, right, because some, some of the fucking Arc 5 songs got fucking deleted. Hmm? Doesn't like pop up in the corner of my what the fuck.
It's out a little more. It's more connected to. And a little smaller. I fucked up the size. Your flame. So it's something like the Yuki of our stuff. Like there's like no lines on the hair, like the top of the head. But from like when it's flowing behind them, they put a ton of strands. And I feel like in the more traditional anime art styles, there's strands on the top as well. There's like no strands at the top of this. I might even make these like one strand and then separate it with shading like how Yu-Gi-Oh does. Separate the strands with only shading. Would it be cool? Yeah. That's something I had to focus on really hard with the fucking... my mirroring. I'm gonna move this closer to the body. That's fair. Oh, did the first Yu-Gi-Oh song get deleted from my playlist? What? It did. What? That that one was uploaded by the official Yu-Gi-Oh. YouTube channel. How did they fucking get copyright claimed? <laughs> System's so broken, fucking verified channels are losing their the fucking videos they own. Yeah, because I have it set up where it goes English song, English themes, then Japanese theme of the same series. This is the first theme for the Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh! The yellow thirst. Too short or too... Uh... Let me finish the bangs, then I'll fucking worry about the side pieces. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. The main, the official YouTube Yu-Gi-Oh! channel has gotten a hyperdrive taken down like six times, and it's not back up again. 
Like, fucking, you guys own it. How do you guys keep getting fucking copyright claimed and then not dealing with it? <laughs> what? Oh, no, this is Cloud. This was Yellow Thirst again. Oh my god, that top of the hair looks so big. I'm not liking this hair so far. I'm fucking hating it. We have a soft fucking reset on all of it. Let's say I put some facial details on to fucking help. Now that's a spoiler. I just noticed something in the fucking the Japanese theme for from Duelist Kingdom is uh it has Merrick's back tech too in the theme song. That's supposed to be a fucking You're not supposed to know about that until the last episode. You're fucked up. <laughs> so I guess it wasn't much of a fucking thing and Japanese version, but it's in the theme song. I don't normally like clients up the theme songs. I don't know. Alright, Yu Gi Oh has a bigger gap between the eyes than what I normally draw. It's like. It's wider than a lot of animes, but it works in Yu Gi Oh. Not in all of the intros. I guess what I'm, I'm glancing up at right now. Uh, they're not fucking spoiling shit. Character has like calmer eyes. I like this. These eyes might work the best. Actually, I might go with more mommy eyes, like, like Misty.
still made them a lot bigger and rounder. Okay, wait, let me look at some eyelashes on certain characters. Like my eyelashes, her, yeah, they 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 kind of they can get kind of long. But I can keep till you this long eyelash till he has. And eyebrows. Yu-Gi-Oh has pretty thin eyebrows. Usually. Eye isn't as big as it should be, because they do big eyes in Yu-Gi-Oh. Much bigger eyes. Like, if, yeah, because, like, if they're facing forward, the eyes are almost touching the sides of the face. Because this is a side view, so it's not quite as big. But, like, I'm imagining if her head was turned a little, how big would the eye need to be? It'd be, like, that big. For when it's looking, but then, like, a little smaller because it's an angle. Let's go. Oh, GX Generation X. Come on, let's go. On. That's right. Come on, get your game on. The great anime fight. Somehow. GX. Get your game on. Did I get all his dick? Just a little smaller or a little bigger, maybe. Scott in my. Oh, now that I flip the canvas, yeah, this cheek is not right. That's why we flip canvases. Yeah, look at Tilly's cheek in, like, most of her art. I feel like she have more, like, of a Kiza's cheeks. I just don't have, like, a turned image of any character on my references. These are all front-facing. It would be really helpful if they didn't, you know? Let's get a uh, fucking... He has a character who's properly facing a different direction. This is from a screen. This is an episode from a. This is a screen cap from an episode. That could be. Oh, here's one. Well, this one's fan art, but it's pretty on model fan art, so I don't fucking care. Uh. 
Ah, uh, the angle's too funky for my brain. Get some renders. Mm, which song is this one? This one's ah uh, ninety nine percent. I love ninety nine percent. Hang out, I found one. Download this. Kucha Kupa Santo Moto. Let's draw like let's try to draw the whole head in like Yu Gi Oh. Let me fucking crack because this is every this is practice basically. Is this one? This one's a uh, teardrop. This one's teardrop. Teardrop. But I I I realized it was teardrop as a character cried and there's teardrop. I was like, oh yeah, teardrop. Yu-Gi-Oh! characters don't have any line art on their lips. It's just shading. Like, there's just, like, a little piece of shading down here that's, like, the un underneath the lip. Like, like, obviously, if I were to draw a lip in my style, it'd, like, it would go, like, right here in comparison to where their shading is. But I don't... I, I just... There's a lot I have to remember in the shading. Like, to include a lip. Also, I don't... I drew like a front facing nose, and that's how they do front facing noses. When they're sideways, they they are more pronounced like this. Fucking I'm doing something wrong in the face. Can redo the nose, fuck it. Oh, I think the whole face is kind of tilted. Like, not the head, but the face. I think I, like, tilted it at some, in, like, my brain. Yeah. Showing things at, like, angles. One of the nurses, but who's getting... <laughs> yes, do it. Not the eye almost touching. Then I'll just grab and move the nose. She looks like she's looking down, like her head's tilting down, but she's looking up. That's what it looks like right now.
I don't know why, I hate sketching Yu-Gi-Oh! style eyes. Because they look bad until I get to the line art phase and coloring phase. Like, I don't, like, no matter what I do with the eyes, they always look wrong to me until I get to line art and color. Or at least the Yu-Gi-Oh! art style. Yeah, something's off. I fucking... That's what it was like when I was drawing a Kiza yesterday. If something kept feeling off. Okay, now it's this eye. I'll just delete this eye for now. She'll be a pirate while I fucking fuck with everything. I didn't even realize that Hyperdrive was playing for a moment. It's from I need to remember it's like ice placement. Okay, if this was a front facing head, it would be like. Oh, this is a nearly perfect front-facing Yu-Gi-Oh head, and I did it when I'm not fucking trying. Fucking, if it was front-facing... No, don't fucking rotate. I hate it when it rotates without fucking thinking. Okay, I think it's a bit big. That might be it. So look, this is a front-facing head, about the size that it would work with this eye size. So just a little smaller. It's not just the eye, though, that's wrong. I know that. The eye can be smaller.
Two bag of a nut? Yeah, it's way too big of a nut. Fucking yank down the brush a lot. This one believe in Nexus? Yes. Still a little big. It's this side of the face. Something's wrong with this side of the face. This, like the left, or my current left now. The far part of the face is wrong. They're like practically touching the nose in art. That looks a lot fucking better, oh my god. This is the catchiest, yet one of the worst Yu-Gi-Oh! dub themes. It might be the worst dub. No. I like this more than, uh, Can You Bring the Power? Because Can You Bring the Power is such a bad the theme for, um, Arc 5. Since it completely goes, the lyrics of the song completely go against how the main character acts, feels, and is, and his fucking moral lessons like fucking it goes completely against the message of the the message and themes of the of the series so i really hate that th i really hate can you bring the power it's so bad and i hate the arc 5 dub if you watch the arc 5 dub stop watch the sub they censor so much in that dub like uh, spoilers, the main character does, sort of involuntarily, a ton of bad things near the end of the series, 
the dub cuts out the scene where he repents and like fucking comes to terms with his failures as a person. They cut that scene from the dub. I'm like, what? That's his scene. That's the scene. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that might be the best scene. <laughs> and it's not in the dub for some reason. Like, what, you can't have the main character cry on screen? Is that why? Fuck the censors. That, and on top of it, there's a lot of bad dub names in Archive. No, I'd say Yukio has some good dubbing. Like the the five D's dub, despite not finishing the last ten episodes, is good. I like the five D's dub. There is very few censors in the five D's dub, and the censors don't matter that much. Like they censor, uh, Carly's death. Like they don't show her twitching corpse on the pavement after she falls twenty stories, like the sub does. It's like, but that's minor. You don't need to fucking see that, technically. Like, you don't lose anything not seeing her lifeless corpse <laughs> for a bit. Even though it is a very good scene. Like, I mean, you don't lose, like, story. The GX dub, it's silly, but it's still good. Despite not doing the last season. So, like, obviously with 5Ds and GX, I'm fine with you watching the dub. And then finishing the show in the sub, since the shows aren't, the dubs aren't, were never finished. Uh, Zexel, terrible dub. The voice actors make me want to rip my ears out. Uh, Arc 5, terrible dub. Vrain's terrible dub. Yeah, they fucking, hold on, I can show Carly's death real fast. I can show Carly fucking dying. <laughs> An anime. Hold on. Yeah, five D's Carly death. Finding it. Hey, it's on the official U. Oh, it's the dub, isn't it? This the dub, because the official Yu-Gi-Oh YouTube channel does have a lot of. Yeah, it's the dub. But it's not gonna be in there. Yeah, because the official YouTube channel does have a lot of episodes on. Okay, wait, that's episode 58. I'll go to Crunchyroll real fast. They go hard in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5. A lot of people die in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, but most of the deaths are censored. But you don't need... It, their deaths are still implied. You still know they're dead. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Episode sub season one fifty eight. Where's number fifty eight? Huh? Wait. Does Carly die here? Is this the right episode? Wait. No, that's not 58. Carly versus Sayer. What's his name? Digging Deeper, episode 38. Okay, here we go. Episode 38, not 58. Man, there's a long time between her death and her return. I did not realize that. Hold on. It's zoomed in. Hold on. We're just gonna find the clip where she dies. Okay, she dies. Wait, no. This is her revenge. That's her revenge kill. Not... Uh, fuck. Fuck. I was wrong. 
I didn't even have it on screen, so it doesn't matter. No, okay. Carly versus Sayer. I'll find. I need to find it first. I need to fucking find it. I'm trying to find the death. What's this? Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, but quick, quick, uh, what? Uh, but, but. Carly versus Sanger first, because there's technically two. I forgot. Oh wait. Okay. Dig a little deeper. Part one. Thirty-seven. Okay. She gets revenge almost immediately the next episode. That's why. Looking okay. Okay, here we go. Da, da, da. Where is it? Okay, here is her death scene. You know, yeah, your death will be treated as an accidental death, he says. Yeah, let's skip a few. Here it is. Yeah, and she got her fucking death portion told that say right here. They censor this scene in the dub by adding purple smoke beneath her to make it seem like she's falling into the shadow realm. It's not a thing. It isn't a shit. No. Oh, what? Is her corpse not in this episode? Is it in the next episode? I thought her corpse was in this episode. Is it at the start of the next one? Wait, before the theme song? No, after the theme song. Here it is. Here's the corpse. Boom! Look at that! Look at that! Lifeless. No pupils. No pupils in Yu-Gi-Oh! means dead. It means you are n no brain function. Soul gone. A straight to the afterlife. That That's what fucking... <laughs> That's what no pupils means, baby. No twitching. And then she comes back to life because the... Oh, sure. My bad. Let me just... Let me just do this. Go back to the employee, the part where she falls. You can see that. Oh. Too soon. Look at that. That's death. Straight dead. This scene is not in the dub. Look at that. She perishes. Pathetic. You don't want to talk. You get fucking owned. Yeah, she's dead. You fucking no dead, no live. Pretty sure I showed it when you said you're back. So yeah, she dies. That's not in the dub. <laughs> God, the, the pupils look so bad when I'm sketching, like, no matter what I do. Let's put a dot there to help me center the eyes for the circle tool.
God, it looks so creepy. It doesn't look as creepy once I'm once it's line art. What if someone's to check? No, she comes back to life because she becomes a dark signer. Because dark signers are characters who all die with like intense emotions, and they work for the bad guy to get what they want. She comes back as a villain, along with a few other characters who die. No, not every villain. Merrick didn't die. Neither did um Darts. No Darts. Wait, did Darts? No Darts learned immortality. He didn't die. Uh, fucking Sartorius. I think that's his name. Sartorius didn't die. Yeah, I think the face is finally usable. That's not true. That's during the... That's the... What's it called? I forgot what the arc is called. Show one of the virtual world arcs. Right, he's not dead. He's, his brain has been turned into code, but all the characters' brains were turned into code for that arc. She gets Taya's body, so it's not a spirit. And he technically hasn't possessed her yet, because he hasn't left the virtual world. No one's left the virtual world yet, because they're waiting for everyone to get what they need. Wait, are you talking about Merrick when you say that? That's not... No. I think you mean Merrick. Neither of them were dead. That's not how it works. I think, I think you're talking about Merrick now, actually. Not not Penguin Man. I thought you talking about Mr. Penguin for a moment. That's not how possession works. You're not dead when you're possessed. That's not, no, that's not how, that's not how death works. You're not dead when you're possessed. It's not, that's not how a force works. It's not how death works. That's not how that's not how possession works. You don't die when you're possessed. Not even close. What? This is the second why is it? This is a weird theme for Yu Gi Oh! Zexel. That's our second time listening to it, technically, because we've been looping. But. Merrick's not dead either! What are you talking about? Let me round out the eyes more to make it more Yu Gi Oh! Like, 
around this corner. It should be rounder. Look at a different character. See how their fucking eye looks. Yeah. Yeah, I think her eyes more match this one, where where the eyes take up almost the entire socket, because the socket has its own like line. And I was drawing as if her eyes were smaller. No, her eyes take up the whole socket because I gave her big eyes. Like this girl, her eyes take up the whole socket. So like, the line that represents the like the edge of your eye socket is combined with the eye on certain characters, because they have bigger eyes. So yeah, it would look like this. Little, like, nubs that come off the eyes. I still think the eyes look creepy, but that's... the last two times I drew Makiza in the past few days, the eyes looked creepy until I did line art. So I'm just gonna ignore that the eyes look like monsters for now. And make me want to run in fear. Because that's what they all did until I finished where I was then happy with them. There's, maybe it's a lack of eye. No, I, I had eyebrows and still look creepy to me. Eyebrows are very flexible in Yu-Gi-Oh. There's not, like, just one way to do them. There's, like, 30 different eyebrow types in Yu-Gi-Oh. I feel like a lot of animes have, like, very specific... Like, you only have, like, two eyebrow types. So I can make them more line up with the eyebrows on this one, where they're, like... They're, like, uh, irregular trapezoids. It's a weird way to describe them. But it makes sense to my brain. Except my mountain dew. Ah. Yeah, they start with like a more flat edge, then they they go around like this. Wait, that's a theme we're missing from the... Are we missing that theme? We are. We're missing a Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel theme from the playlist. So I wanted to talk... I like mentioning it when it comes to a certain theme, but it's not here. And I mean, it's because we've cycled through this playlist twice now. That, uh, yeah. Huh. Let me just put... The official Yu-Gi-Oh! channel uploaded all most of these, including the theme that's got taken down. Why does the official YouTube channel for Yu-Gi-Oh! not have, like, rights to the fucking music that they upload? <laughs> they keep getting fucking copyrighted. Fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel... Japanese OP1, I think it's- oh, maybe OP2. What openings do I have? I have... Season 2... Wait. I have Season 2, then two Season 1s, and a Season 3. Ah. Hold on, which one is it? Is it this one? Wait. Wait, I think that was it. Mi Har Maru. Wait, no, I did play. Why did I not recognize it when it played? Wait. This is on the playlist. This one, I think. Yeah, here we go. The fucking rap, the fucking rap god here. But that's not facts, she's fucking rapping, dude. It's popping off. Yeah, that's the part I just wanted to mention. I don't care about the rest. Okay, next song.
Oh boy, now back to the hair. Let's see, this kind of pose, because remember this is the pose I'm doing. So I've just been fucking with the head, because the head is the hardest part for any art style, I think. It's with this kind of pose, like you'd imagine the hair to be flowing more. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna give the hair like a more dynamic back to it. Yeah. Make it. Let's erase the seams here, because Yu-Gi-Oh, they don't have many seams on, like, the hair strands. Like, look, stay here. And then seams just get created more. There are some types of lines that create seams, like... Like, this one's probably going to create a, a seam. This one's going to create a seam, too. What's this? Mm -hmm. I think the, oh, okay, I made the hair too short for sure, dude. I might have been going for something, but no, this hair still needs to be longer. Just. There we go. Better. Like, yeah, this hair was way too short. Create some seams like, oh yeah. Strands here.
Ooh. I'm trying to still remember to, I gotta make this Yu-Gi-Oh like. They kind of have like. I don't know how to describe it, but like, so if I had like three points here, and I was just drawing with my art style, and it's like a curve, then it would be like a curve. It would be like that. Mm. But in like Yu-Gi-Oh, it's like it's like curve, stop, curve, where like it clearly makes a point at some point. I don't know how to explain it and how it's different from how other art is. Okay, fine. And the water. Mm -hmm. Any of the characters I have here have the thing I'm thinking of. Yeah. I got his fucking cover, I don't even know. I'm just saying, you don't have like the. They barely have, like, a keys that has it, and I think that's about it. Of like a. The root? The hair root? I don't know. I've been thinking it for like a bit, but this guy who sings this song. Hold on, let me screenshot him. 
guy who sings a song, he's like, when I look at him, my brain goes David Bowie, but Asian. Does anyone else get this vibe? All right, hold on, let me pull up a picture of David Bowie. Many uncultured. Is it just me? You feel it, when I look at him, my brain goes Asian David Bowie. What's the David Bowie photo that he has like a similar hairstyle? Why is this one in black and white? That's fucking he's this is this is him when he's okay. Fucking color photos were invented when this image was taken. Why is this in black and white? Okay. Th this angle and lighting of him. He looks just like David Bowie. Hold on. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Yeah, doesn't it look like Asian David Bowie? <laughs> Whenever I fucking look at this guy, I'm like, it's fucking <laughs> David Bowie's alive and he's Asian. Real. All he needs is this, uh, like, mole that... Oh, that's not... Why was that not the right color? That's too big. I just... <laughs> just add the mole. It's David Bowie. Yeah. Press playing the song again. I need another character who actually has, like, natural hair. What's the fucking character who has similar hair to Tilly in Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. Um. Uh. Like, not, obviously not very similar, but, like, less wacky Yu-Gi-Oh characters. Oh, is it? Yeah. I mean, I feel like that didn't that didn't appear in other David Bowie things. So I'm right, that's why I noticed it so fast. Like I noticed the beauty mark so fast that I was like, like because I'm like I don't think that was there before, but I, yeah. So I feel like yeah, I can close the hat on most of these tabs. First Pompadour thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but is there a character in Yu-Gi-Oh with a bump it? Well, I'll probably go off my Yu-Gi-Oh playlist because Yu-Gi-Oh songs are so short that listening to them three times back to back is gonna fucking melt my mind. Like, I'm not gonna survive if I do that. So, no, no, well, more. I'm gonna start with another Yu-Gi-Oh song, but it's a different Yu-Gi-Oh song. <laughs> Not a theme song. Where is it? Here it is. Go on clear mind, baby. Serenity. Mm, maybe. Serenity. Not really, but her reference will help a lot. Is it not a render of her? I mean, she's not, like, in the show much, so I guess there won't be a render. But it will help a little bit. It's, like, the clearest image of her. She's not in the show enough to have... Oh, this image is clear, actually. Let's close this, then. It's... Okay, it's not clear. It's just a little better drawn, but less clear. Not really helpful either way. Neither, none of these are... <laughs> these are 
fucking ancient screenshots. None of them are gonna be helpful to me. Need a bond drive and more fish. Oh, I haven't drawn her ears yet. This will help. Looking. Let's get a picture of the Celtic Guardian, because that's an elk. So that will be a quick and easy way to see how elf ears are done. There we go. Celtic Garden from the anime. I'm not going to put it on Flip Studio. I just have it because I don't need it long. Boom. Easy. Wait. Ears start like in Yu-Gi-Oh. Ears are about like at least Elfie. Okay, yeah, here we go. Put some more clearer shots. They're like they start ear-ish. Ears are drawn like this. Will you be able to see an ear from this angle? You will. You will. Yeah. You will. There you go, because I need the ear to help with some of the hair placement. This Tilly's hair will tuck behind the ear, and then there's a piece that comes in front of the ear. There we go. Oh, I got a tag in the server. What for? They don't usually tag me. Okay, an anime game. Someone added everyone to tell them that they bought an anime game. Not cool, bro. No one cares. I can why? Especially in that server, like that doesn't happen in that server like at all. Well cringe champ, my guy. It's in the announcements channel too by a mod. I'm like, bruh. Why'd you do that? Kind of annoying, Loki. Ignore my really strange taste in music. People part when I have music on, which I usually haven't muted because my music taste is weird, so. Yeah. I could have like a redeem to be like, <laughs> like, shut up the music or something. Oh, what if I have like a. S no. A lot of my songs aren't long enough, because it's gonna be like, what if I have a skip redeem? But a lot of my songs aren't long enough for a skip redeem, I don't think. Then it'll be like, oh. I might like glance at it and like when the next song starts and I skip the song that you didn't want skipped. Come. 
Come. Come. No, you. Come. And Bingus. No. Working on come. That's gay. Working on come. Gay. That is gay. How's that gay? It can be straight to work on come. No. No. Not not no. straight to work on come. No. 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 You're wrong. How is it? How is it not straight to work on come? What if it's straight come? Cause... You gotta have come to make uh to make a baby. just how babies are formed you know that right yeah, you know that's not true <laughs> let's see i was watching more one piece why did you hurt yourself i love it though i was crying it was making me cry it was so good <laughs> it was so sad <laughs> it was really sad I, that's the great thing about anime is that they made me cry about yeah. a skeleton and meeting up with a whale. I'm yeah, not yeah, kidding. just like how Stone Ocean made me cry was how painful it was. It was, but it's not as it's not shitty. It's not like Stone Ocean at all, <laughs> which is garbo bad. Where this is this Truth come is out. wonderful. What? You, you? We both agree! Uh -huh, what do you uh -huh, mean? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, Demonic! I was crying so badly. Good, it, good, it good. It made me cry five times in a row. Because it's just sad, 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 sad after You mean another. like Obi-Wan made me cry? Five times in a row? No, but no. I was I was watching anime and it made me cry, it made yeah, me cry like... about a about a fucking skeleton losing his crew, and then uh, I've him... only cried with good anime. Okay, I mean, <laughs> you don't know until you watch it. When, yeah, and I am crook. <laughs> I'm saying that you know if you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't. You don't. I'm not gonna force you. No, I'm not your dad. You. Shut up. I'm not your. Uh, I'm not your granddad. And I, you'd be. You need a few more grades on there. Uh, uh, <laughs> funnies. What's so funny? What? Let's make a joke. <laughs> hey, but dragon. Good evening. Have a have a pleasant. While I continue to be here <laughs> until such time as I fall asleep or something, I don't know. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you for being very, very helpful, Bedragon. I really appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Welcome. Yes, this co-host is our Unity Master. I just need to put you in the title sometimes. In the cum? I should just put you in the title as, uh, as, as with Zara Unity Master. Why? Uh, okay, you're right. I don't need to. All right. <laughs> you're fine. You're right. I won't. Why not? Uh, oh, oh, you, oh, so you want to be. Oh, okay. I, I could put you in Not going to confirm one way or the other. I'm asking simple questions, go you are applying motive to them. I think the only uh part I legitimately cried was uh when Will is Zeppeli sacrificed himself, uh despite knowing the risk. Yeah. Yeah. Mine was in teacher please or please teacher. I forget I always forget what order it is. I think it's teacher please. What what what's in teacher please? Can't wait, hold on, let me check. Anime. But here's the thing. No, it's this please teacher. Anime. Never mind. Please teacher. Oh, okay. Yeah. I always forget what order it is because two tight word title. Unlike fucking some anime that have like ninety words. Yeah. 
you were like, oh man, I wonder which anime I'm watching. Is it is it this one or this one or <laughs> this one? Do you care about spoilers? Because it's kind of my favorite. It's kind of like not my favorite. No, 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 no. Yeah, it is my favorite. I got confused with another one for a moment. I mean, go ahead. I'll probably watch it at some point. Uh, it's a very old one, so it's more obscure. Uh, so I gotta do a mini plot synopsis to make it make sense. Mm -hmm. but basically, complicated reasons. This is a slice of life, by the way, except it goes into sci fi pretty fast somehow. So, complicated that's reasons. That's awesome. Guy <laughs> is married great. to. A teacher mm -hmm. is a teacher that he is legally allowed to be married to. Okay, don't good. worry. There's a whole fucking episode on why, what the legality of everything. That's They're good. Trying... Thank God. And she's a space alien, secretly. And they gotta like they they gotta do because she doesn't she don't know many human things, but she's a teacher mm -hmm. on Earth somehow. I don't fucking understand. She just learned like how to be a teacher. That's it, I guess. She doesn't know much else about Earth. So, shenanigans. Which is weird. You should know. Not, not, you should she know knows a lot. lot, but she's like more like autistic with like how she acts. Okay. It's, it's more social stuff. She knows book stuff. So, she's uh, a lot. eventually there's an issue. At... Oh yeah, the main character has a thing. Where he goes, he has like, he's very susceptible to stress comas. Like he like too much stress can really fucking comatose him, and he's very careful with them the whole series. Then at the end, his like the his um sister in law is like berating him because like and like yelling at him, saying like, saying all this mean shit, and like because she has a misunderstanding, and he's like, and you know, he's like fucking hyperventilating, and then he fucking he he goes out, he's gone. And that's when the wife arrives, and she's like, you, and like, because like, she's been nothing but nice to her sister the whole series, and she's just like, you fuck your bitch, and like, fucking like, punches her. <laughs> like, my fucking husband. <laughs> you pinhead dipshit. <laughs> then at the end, there's a, oh, fuck, I forgot. Uh, the, the, the jar, the reason why this has to happen, I kind of forget it at the moment. It's been a long time since I rewatched. Hmm. Uh, they ha the alien government has to wipe the minds of everyone she met, including her husband. Uh, like memories, and the next and the episode ends with like the character walking in, first day of the new school year, with um her as the teacher, and she like she has the she's like because it like it's a shot for shot of the first episode, which was them meeting for the first time. And except the only difference is that she's visibly depressed. So it's like, oh, but that's not the part that made me cry. It, at at end of the episode, last like one two minutes, they're recreating like again shot for shot what happens in the first episode where he's helping her move into her house. There's like you know friendly neighbor thing, mm -hmm. except there's like a minor difference. The when they're carrying a box, like, I can't believe I noticed it. Like, I noticed it, like, it clicked immediately, and it, even though it's very subtle. is like, when they're carrying in the final box, they're, like, reversed. Like, he's carrying it in the opposite way than he was. You know? If you get what I'm saying? Because it's, like, a big box, so two people need to right. hold it. And he trips and falls, and the the girl breaks down crying because she's, like, just a lot of emotions and like her used to be husband is like injured and then credits damn oh no no it's like then he like he smiles implying he remembers something and then credits damn and it's good and then years later i learned there was an, another episode which when my friend watched the series he's like yeah don't watch it, it the last that episode twelve is a good ending. Don't watch episode thirteen. <laughs> oh, and like, oh, g good. I'm glad I didn't know there was a thirteenth episode. That legit just stopped at twelve. I'm like, yeah, that's the ending. I didn't even, I didn't even like check. I was like, why would I need to check? That's clearly the ending. <laughs> good ending. Love it. Good, good series. 
Yeah, it keeps getting out of theater mode, and I don't understand. Oh, YouTube's fucking with you, too? Yeah. This is the song that made me cry. Fuck. I'll, uh, I'll link it in the chat. You want your mom remix number 12? What if it was? This is so it. So it doesn't count if it's laugh crying? Yeah. It does it does count. <laughs> I'll click on your sussy wussy linky winky. <laughs> uh, no, the last episode of Golden Wind isn't unnecessary. It's like an epilogue. Yeah. I would say it's an epilogue. It's a it's an epilogue that just like it's it's nice it's a nice epilogue it's which I learned something. Hey! Guys, hold hold up, hmm? hold up! I have to do it every time. Hold the cum. Psycho Mantis. <laughs> you know what I learned about like the word epilogue because I had a definition in my head for a long time and then I remember I'm like why is the last step chapter in Bayonetta called epilogue? It's not really an epilogue. That's not really an epilogue. I don't understand that either. No, that but then I checked the definition of epilogue, and I'm like, oh, shoot, it, it is. I just had a definition is? in my head that's, like, wrong. I guess my school teachers taught me that isn't correct. So how I think of epilogue is, like, is post-climax, uh, post-climax, like, chapter that is, like, settling everything down. Like, that's how I was taught what it is. But no, epilogue literally just means the last chapter. Yeah. Okay, like, oh, okay. so then it is an epilogue in Bayonetta. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's the last chapter. Yeah. I I thought it literally meant, like, it's in somebody else's, like, it's in somebody else's, like, thought process or anything like that. No, it, oh, okay, so it is just the last chapter. Yeah. I got you. I that, thought it was supposed to be What I was taught was just, else's. like, post-climax, like, settling down the story. Like, kind of how, like, a prologue is, like, prior to the story. Where, like, you can skip a prologue in in a lot of cases if you already read, this, read or know the series. Right. You can skip a prologue. And that's what I kind of thought an epilogue was, which is the opposite. It's like, yeah, you can, you can, you can skip oh, the epilogues. Thank you, you so already much, know what Vixen's Lair. Oh, okay. I guess maybe just because it's a game, so, like, you don't... There is no, like, gameplay that is post-climax, because you want the final bit of gameplay to be the climax. Right. And then it's like, yeah, in a book, the, the last chapter is almost always not going to be a climax. It's going to be like, oh, we've saved the day. Now let's look out on a graceful universe. <laughs> a grateful universe. On my farm, Thanos. <laughs> I guess oh, Infinity no! War doesn't have an epilogue, or a ch epilogue how I would think of an epilogue. As you consider that two-second scene of Thanos with the. I'm sorry, Psycho, that you haven't been feeling good. I hope you feel better. I hope everything gets better for you. I don't. I'm not gonna watch it. Watch what? Uh, Stranger Things. Mood. I'm good. Just don't call me late, Peter.
No! Would you do this time, Godicus? No, I'm just reading what Psycho Roxy said. Yeah, is that something you did, dumbass? Hopefully you didn't break your arm. Hope you feel better. I'm sorry that you're not feeling good. How did you break your arm? What happened? But what? <laughs> How did that happen? Hmm. I I uh, tried to watch season two of Stranger Things and I felt nothing. I like the first season. Did you ever watch the first season? No, uh, I didn't care enough. Okay. Uh, you don't mind me spoiling anything? Don't care. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's it's okay. <laughs> That's the spoiler. It's okay. It's like, um, I'm so glad I never got into 13 Reasons Why. It's a, uh, because the turn. Shit. No, because the turn that takes after season one. Yeah, it makes, uh, no, like, it's tr it, that that 13 we we Reasons Why uh, is shitty all the way through. It's terrible all the way through. Have you seen um, Zach or, or Adam and friends do the reaction to the season? Yes. Oh it's so god. good. It was my favorite content. I was so hyped when they got like season four coverage. Oh my god, they're like it's wow. fucking ghost what? and they're redeeming the unredeemable character. Yeah, it's like how are you doing this? This the is characters dumb. don't go to a fucking teacher about a, th a thing possible, I don't think you can say. Yeah, I don't possible think violence moment. Yeah, uh, a possible uh no, a defo uh violence moment. Well they moment. stopped it. Yeah. So possible again. It's possible yeah. that, that it could happen once more. So that's a, like isn't the first season based on a true story? Yes. Yeah, it is <laughs> that's the based fucking on a true story. funniest part, though. That's yeah. like, guys, we gotta make another season of this. It's like, what do you mean? But there, we season one is a true said story. Sto yeah, we just <laughs> said this whole story. What do you mean? Like, you can't just be like, like, you can't, it's like, I guess maybe, I was gonna say, like, you can't, like, Balto, but Balto was already, like, based on, like, a legend that was yeah, potentially that was a, legend, a true story. Not no, a it is true a true, story. it's a true story, but there's a problem with it. It's, they already, Balto takes it and, like, adapts the true story, and also it's kind of, Balto was not the name of the actual dog, that's just, like a that was a lie that happened and then disney you know picked that up yeah you know, kind of like with, with pocahontas but like they didn't like they just went for the common version they don't like like go for like oh well, let's see what's actually real so i think like i forget what it is like balto the can't the real balto is like basically stolen valor some guy was just like it was balto who did that and and, it, and like the actual truth was like no it wasn't Oh, like, yeah. you know, like, Thomas Edison and the light bulb. He didn't do that. No, he made it no. better. He didn't invent the light bulb. Right. He perfected the light bulb. Yeah, he he perfected the light bulb, and also, you know who also perfect who even worked Whoever made the, the, light the, the spinny light bulbs. I forget what, what those was his, What was his name? He know. was the uh, Tesla. He Tesla be. also worked on the light bulb. Yeah, that well. too. Yes. He helped. Uh, okay. He helped make it last longer. Yes. We still don't know how how that one light bulb works. Yeah. You know that one light bulb that's like been burning for like thirty years straight. Uh, that no one knows what's happening there. Yeah, because yeah, we're like we can't. We're like we want to open it, but we can't open it because then we'll make it not work no more. Yeah. You mean the magic uh, that's happening literally? <laughs> yeah. It's like fucking how. I hope you feel better, and I hope you don't get sick. I hope you don't get sick while That's waiting the... in the fucking waiting room. God damn! I hope that we can entertain you for even a little bit. This is fucking. Maybe this is being funky. What? What's it doing to you? Just when I'm trying time? to resize something, it's like. 
doing some weird shit. Oh yeah, sometimes it just doesn't want to fit things. It just doesn't want to resize properly in a in a yeah. way that makes sense like it normally does. And I gotta swap out foods. Look, no, it 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 does it did it to me with Gloomhaven. Literally, I was like fit to screen. Well, and that's not, I'm just... tracking to resize something. <laughs> it's not like because you know how you expect it. If I grab the top right corner of something, mm -hmm. it will stretch from the bottom left. When I'm doing it, like the center, like the center of mass is moving in a way that makes no sense. And I'm like, bro, what? I can't visualize it without fucking recording my OBS. And Jabari, is that a mystic space portal? Oh shit! Oh shit! Mystic space portal. This is. I'm trying to figure out what this is. This How does he is... know it was a space portal, huh, Ninja or Ninja Danny? How huh? he's not a ninja. Not he's yet. a martial arts master. He's a hero. He is a hero. That is true. Any funny story like a shampoo incident? Uh, no, I cried at anime today. I literally right before I started streaming today, I was uh. I was uh, watching anime and watching Zara draw, so I was I was watching anime and I looked down. It's fucking so sad. It's so sad about this man losing his whole crew and promising a little baby whale he'll be back in fifty years. How's the top of this hair look? It looks funky to me. I've been oh, fucking let's... with it for like ever. This is the let's best see. I've gotten it, but I don't know. The top of the hair, not the behind part. Okay, so the top of the hair, I think you need to round it out. It, I, I had I it round, you, but it was like too round. I think that you need to uh, try to round it out a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And it'll look a lot better for you. I was trying to mimic an art style. That's not mine. Yeah. That yeah, might swap too if I can that's, master it. That's what I'm thinking. If yeah. I can master this art style, I'm definitely swapping from mine. <laughs> oh, you mean the Yu-Gi-Oh style? Yeah. Yeah. I'll try a few more art styles as well. I'm just gonna see if this one flows with me. Uh, Dick McCheese McFuss face. I need this in a, a new alien. <laughs> my new internet al alias. <laughs> also, it sounds interesting. I cried to a picture of an egg once. I don't know why, but I did. No, I cried at literally. Okay. It's a story of like a character that's. That like was okay. a throwaway fucking character. Uh, download this to come dot internet dot seven. What happened? No, I'm not. What happened? Your mom. Who who, who died? You. I don't say I did. died. But you are. I will. Oh man, I will. I will be forever the spirit of Halloween. Sure. <laughs> Uh, can you see? Uh, uh, oh fuck! I had to adjust to the thing. Uh, I just no, like the throwaway character was literally a like it. It's supposed. It May was... Hughes was a throwaway character. Hughes from what? Oh yeah, Hughes May. was a throwaway character. Yes. Everyone cried during that. Spoilers. I. Yeah. Fucking like ten years. It's like fourteen years old now. We get over it. Yeah. No, it. Wait, I made it's... up a number. Is that right? It's... I don't know. Wait, I think I might be right. It's two thousand. The original. If we're talking about the anime, O three came out in O three. I know, I know, I was, no, I was, my brain, I said it was three, but I was, my, the date in my head was Brotherhood, for some reason. Oh, three, that's literally the year, why did I say, why were they thinking Brotherhood when I said oh, three? But, oh, yeah. What, what, what year did I, I said 14 years, no, 19. I'm right. Yeah, you're I'm, right. I'm awesome. I know. Have you seen the art Tux has been doing? Uh, I saw the whip? a little bit of it. The whip that you posted an hour or 20 minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> Good. 
I don't he know. He told me about, I... he asked if he should do it in my chat, and I said, yeah. Man. I said, do, do whatever it he now. wants. It's, it's, it's his art. Let him do, let him live his, his best life. Was the princess Thames a banny your heart is coming? I fucking love the fucking lore of the NSP videos. Mm. This hey, one, Delta. when he was like, he was told to use, Danny was told to use the power of his heart and immediately got fucking ragdolled. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Kelta. Hmm? <sighs> oh. Yeah, no. Yeah, hang out in Zara's chat. Yeah, go <laughs> hang out in Zara's chat. God, I fucking perished t t earlier today. Why? Why did you perish? I was like, casually ingested too much sugar, and then I was like, wait a minute. That wasn't a good idea immediately after I ingested it. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm gonna feel dead inside if I don't, like, like inhale fiber to counter the, you know, sugar. <laughs> yeah. That's mostly what fiber does. So I went and I was like, oh, that's the most fibrous shit I have. Like, peanut butter is pretty fibrous. Bread's pretty fibrous. Or not pretty fibrous, it just has a little fiber. I'm like, I'll make a peanut, I'll eat like two peanut butter sandwiches to fucking try to counterattack the the, the, the the nuke I dropped on my stomach. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I did. I ate <laughs> and it worked, but I still, I still felt terrible. I <laughs> just ate, like, about less than an hour ago, I ate waffles <laughs> that I uh, I put too much syrup on, and instead of you know being yeah. like, okay, I can just throw off this syrup yeah, and true. just try again, make some new waffles. I'm like, ah, power through it, <laughs> ate it, ate it, and I felt fucking terrible I afterwards. Ate, I ate so eight I'm... mini cupcakes, <laughs> Ugh. but they're very tiny, so your brain doesn't think about it. Like that's like three cup. That's like three normal cupcakes. Yeah. It's too much. No. It's too much. But I <laughs> They're I so ate... small my brain didn't perceive them as a threat. <laughs> then I realized after I ate them how much it truly was. So do you know how I how I counteract it? <laughs> what? I, I ate some fucking chicken. That's good. Yeah. It it's surprise. Fucking chicken absorbed the sugar. It was eat I was good like foods. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, thank God. I haven't made any of my tortellini today. And I also, like, after that the incident today, I, I, I've been full for, like, a while. Since the incident. Since the incident, he's been full. But yes, Psycho Roxy, if you want to hang out in Zara's chat, don't think that I'll think anything less of you. I was thinking of adding, like, a skip song or a name, but then I'm like, uh, a lot of my songs are too short for that, so if someone wanted to skip something, they'd have to be fast. Yeah. Zara had a tummy ache. Oh no, the first time I ever ate a Twinkie, That's I was sick for three tummy. days. Oh, the, you know the fucking terrible things that I found, uh, I recently found? I, I found yeah. these very terrible mini muffins. I forget the name of them. They're, they're not Lil Debbie. They're something else. I forget the name of these. Let me look it up. Because it's going to annoy me. Uh, I was going to say, I didn't have really mini a muffins. tummy ache. I perceived that I was going to have a tummy ache. So I quickly yeah. tried to make something quickly to counter it. And all I was left with was, like, just a sugar headache. Yeah, no, they're like, called... Ooh. They're called Little Bites. Mm -hmm. They... I I tried one. It had so much fucking fake sugar, I almost threw up, and I had a horrible fucking headache. I had a horrible fucking headache, because that's what it ha That's what happens when I eat fake sugar, is I get a headache. Yeah. What the fuck's fake sugar? Uh, artificial? So not, yeah, artificial sugar. But non-natural sugars. Yeah. Well, there's not really much between... I think the difference between natural and artificial sugars is that most natural sources of sugar also come with a lot of fiber. 
Yeah. Just pre-packaged like an apple. Pre-packaged uh, not to kill you. No. No, it would have to be over uh it would have to be worth it. So probably a thousand. Probably a hundred thousand. That's when I'll show for Disney. <laughs> yeah. A hundred thousand Disney. That's my that's my that's my break. Depends on what I'm shilling for. When I'm shilling for Star Wars. It's a mil million minimum. Because yeah. you can live off a million for the rest of your life. Not in the if way you think. Chippendale's Rescue Ranger. If, like, if it's Chippendale's garbage movie. <laughs> uh, if it's, yeah, if it's Chippendale. I'll, I'll show for Chippendale's for like 30k. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That'll be, that's not that hard. No, I'd do it for do 10k. That. I'd, I'd, sh I'd show for Chippendale for 10k. Yeah. I'd That's throw not... my morals out the window. Yeah. <laughs> That's not terrible. That's not hard for Disney oh, I to could, do. Or just for however long they're requiring me to show, I could just avoid mentioning a, the objective quality and just yeah. say what I like. Hey guys, I don't even know if it's bad or money not. Because of you. Oh, uh, my friend, I wanted <laughs> to give you this comment from uh, my work friend. He said that uh, that he thought that the new the new uh, Obi Wan show was okay. Wrong. <laughs> I'm just telling you that's what he thought. Oh yeah, I, I was like, um, I was curious after I got my fucking like too much sugar experience today. And I was like, how much fiber do you need to, like, like, after I already ate the sandwiches? And I was like, how much fiber do you need, like, per sugar to, like, you know, like, be mostly healthy? Mm. Then I was like, how much, how much fiber would I have to intake to, like, not have to worry about chugging a soda, you know? <laughs> right. And I looked at it, I'm like, oh, shit, no, that's hard. It's, um... One, it's one gram of sugar to one gram of fiber. It's one to one, Damn. For, like exactly. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna be able to ingest thirty sugars or thirty fibers at once because <laughs> the soda is like thirty sugars. I'm like, oh, I'm not sure I can ingest that much fiber in like so little time. <laughs> I'll just bite the bullet and continue eat drinking soda at detriment to my health. <laughs> Let's make everything else healthy. The new Obi Wan show was okay. Zara, no, no. He stated, "Well, I just stopped asking questions about Star Wars, and I accept that it's gonna be shitty. So if I go in with a, well, that's just more uh, depression defeatism." Yeah, that's exactly what I said. I was like, "That's not good." Like, I've never, no, I've never understood that because, like, even like if I accept because I. I've accepted that Endgame is shitty. I still know it's shitty. <laughs> like, I expect yeah. it to be shitty. I'm not gonna just suddenly think it's okay. Yeah. And he's like, well, since that, you know, since The Last Jedi, it, I don't care anymore. And I just know that Disney's, you know, doesn't care about Star Wars and that I'll never get the feeling of uh, Star Wars Episode Four ever again. And I was like, that's... You can! With good writers, you can! What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> if you had good writers, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. What's your so thoughts, Zara Unity Master? I don't think they're ever gonna hire a good writer. You think that it's, uh, it's always gonna be shit? Yeah, they, are, they have a fucking... Even though they tanked their sales, like, yeah, they're still profiting, but even they've tanked. Like, but, like, they're they're not gonna stop. They're like, yeah, yeah, well, it's still a money printer. No, no, I don't even think it's a printer anymore. It's just fucking terrible. They've... Well, it's still a it... printer, no matter what you... You're, shit, you're, you're printing out shit, but you're still getting lots of dough. Yeah. But they've crippled the amount of dough they can get. The people, the TLJ lovers will refuse to admit that 
the most most people hated TLJ. Right. Like, like they always cite like Rotten Tomato reviews, which are the most unreliable fucking thing on the planet. But like, you know what we can tell how you know how one way we can tell how the majority of people uh hated TLJ? Or at least knew it was bad. The next Star Wars remember, Disney's plan was one Star Wars movie every year for the till the end of time. And that's what they were doing. With like one mainline movie and then one sub movie and then a mainline movie, then a sub movie. You know, right. it went TFA, Rogue One, TLJ, Solo. That's what they were planning to do forever. But TLJ was so doo doo that Solo lost money. <laughs> Right. Like, it wasn't Solo's fault that, like, if, let's say TLJ was equal quality to TFA. Right. Which is, like, I don't know, four or five out, five out of ten. People would have watched Solo, regardless of the quality of Solo. Right. And Solo would have made a lot more money. <laughs> TLJ was so bad, most people were like, I, I'm not gonna watch the next movie. <laughs> Yeah. If the mainline movie's this bad, the sub movie's gonna be worse. <laughs> like, wow. Here's the thing: the them stealing the plans of the uh, of the Jedi of the uh, for the for the Death Star. Here's the thing: they've already done a, a video game of that story, and you know now that okay. story is fucking amazing. It's a uh, of a man named Kyle Katarn, who has killed more <laughs> more stormtroopers than the Death Star, uh, than both De Death Stars combined, <laughs> and became a Force user. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, I I just think that they could have done if they had just went Kyle Katarn. But less crazy mm -hmm. because what happens in his story is fucking insane. But if they just went with Kyle Katarn and just uh, went with that storyline, they would have made bukus of money. They would have made billions. They would have made lots of fucking money. Because <laughs> one, he is not. He is. Uh, and also, the timeline wouldn't be like so fucking crazy. Like, literally, her ship leaving immediately, and then they fall, and they're like, Hey, what were you doing over there? You didn't see anything, did you, princess? We know mm -hmm. the plan. It, uh, that fucking storyline makes no fucking sense. beep a boop -a. <laughs> Solo looking at... <laughs> Solo looking at TLJ like... <laughs> same employee equals pay. <laughs> <laughs> like that girl oh no I'm a fan of both I like both uh, Star Trek and Star Wars no I said Solo looking at TLJ oh yeah no <laughs> Solo made no money no 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 I was I was commenting to Raven I'm sorry okay. uh, but yeah no fuck fuck it F fuck TLJ it knows what it did wrong. I don't know. Having a, an actor cry because you ruined the series and they know it. Like, that's mm -hmm. very, that's Wait, not good. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy who played General Akbar. Oh, yeah. He cried uh, because he's like, oh, man, you fucking... You fucked this series so hard. Hope you've been good, Raven. Thank you, man. Hope you've been good, Raven. Hey, go. What's uh her full name? Red, white, Raven. Okay, good. You passed today. <laughs> no one was likable in Rogue One and no common sense was used in their decision 
Remember when Forrest uh, Whitaker, a seasoned war hero who knows about the Death Star, decides to just self die because he's tired? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that is true. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so confused like here's the thing people I ironically like that movie yet all of that movie is bad yeah, should we do it yeah true but should we do a counter for like days since you've messed up saying Raven's name specifically uh no no what, if, no what about instances no need no need because I think no I think literally the last instance was a failure okay so, it's that one. Uh, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure in Last Instance was a failure. Yeah, it was a Last while Instance ago. was a failure. Well, that's because she was on vacation. Oh, yeah. La yeah, Last Instance was a, was, a, <laughs> was a dunk. And you were the one dunked on. Yeah. I was. Wasn't a... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. Be your mom. I didn't say nothing. Something about your mom? Since you've been gay. Did you guys like The Force Unleashed? I I had that game on Wii. I liked it when I was younger, but I uh I thought it was have fun the... gameplay. This is alright gameplay. Oh, the Wii oh, version right, sucks. Your gameplay. The Wii version wait, sucks ass. Wait, what the fuck? I, I looked up something to like get a reference for Yu-Gi-Oh character body types and shit. Right. You say and Jade are the are like the same ish height. Mm. I thought you say was like way taller. Nope. I guess that makes sense because he is like a like uh like a foot shorter than Jack. Jack's like six. Uh. 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 Hello, Lord. My cat missed me. She is not willing to hop on my lap, but if I don't cuddle her on the floor, she'll pop my legs off. Oh, Baby. God. Do you want to know a, a Yu Gi Oh criticism that like endlessly makes me upset? Uh, go ahead. And people are like, how do people not notice Yugi growing like an extra foot taller when he transforms into Yami? It's like, he doesn't though. He doesn't? He never, he, he, his posture changes and his face gets more intimidating. And every shot where he's actually next to someone, he is he's still the same. short. He's yeah, still he's five, the same like as one. He was, yeah. Yeah. No, I never understood that where people thought he's it's like, like, oh, why is he so small in this? Yeah, scene? he's like it's he like... arches his back a little bit to like power pose, but like he doesn't like that's like at most like an inch, if anything. Yeah. No, it's just that's that not they taller, shoot that's posture. to make him look taller. Yeah, because but... he's more intimidating. He puts on like they shoot him from like below a bit. Yeah, which is what you do in any form of me in any form of visual media to but make someone more see... intimidating. Yeah, if you see like in regular comics or Yugi, animation, he he's slouched and he his his arms are down and he's very meek. Yeah, his shoulders mild. are down. He's like his arms are in a position where like his shoulders are going to be bending down rather than being straight. Yeah, which is yeah, it's a different standing posture. Yeah, it's whack. Like I, the only reason I can think of for this conception, other than they're stupid and they don't understand shooting someone from below is for intimidation, is that right. Ghost Atem is visibly taller than Yugi. That's when he's a ghost, not when he's inhabiting Yugi's body. Right. Like Ghost Atem is taller. It must have been adapted to the shitty motion control because I had no problem with the Xbox version. It's so awkward to control. It's real bad. 
to control sometimes. It's pretty good with combos. <laughs> Just don't use your force powers, which is a terrible thing to say, but in Force Unleashed, the force powers are actually real garbage. The actual <laughs> combat is way better than the Wii it's version. Stinky. It's stinky. It's real stinky. Yugi don't get taller when he go when he goes Super Saiyan. Oh also, don't gosh. you love like Super Saiyan is a canonical basically a power in Yu-Gi-Oh. Damn. <laughs> in um Yu-Gi-Oh Zexel, the, the the ability Zexel. Well, it's, it's I I I'm 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 used to saying Zexel now, but it's not Zexel. That's a dub mistake. It, oh, it, it's Sexel. Gotcha. It, it's spelled. So, you know how it's Z-E-X-A-L? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, the intention in Japanese is that it's Z-E multiplication sign A-L. Uh. So it's pronounced zeal, which is a word. <laughs> right. Because multiplication, because uh, the main monsters are X-C's, and they, Im they, they treat it like multiplication, kind of. Like, if they use, like, a fucking math thing for every summoning method, exceeds its multiplication. <laughs> That's weird. And, so, it's, um, uh, it's like, yeah. It's Zeal. Like... So, the, their transformation called Zeal, or Zexel in the dub, because they thought it was an X like everyone else. <laughs> nice. Uh... It's the main character and his ghost friend, like you, like Atem, basically. But I like I like him more. He's his name's Astral. They learn an ability where they can treat them so, like they they can quote build the overlay network, which is what they say when they exceed summon, but they're using it on themselves, not their cards. They fuse into one thing called the zeal, and <laughs> it's just the main character, but with armor. Uh, an echoey voice, and his hair is golden and goes straight up like Goku. Nice. And when they do it, his um deck changes, which is to signify that he's powered up. <laughs> and he's, like, smarter, he's, like, in sync and whatnot. They use it during big, big boy bus fights. Big boy bus fights. It's funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Super Saiyan. Canon. Yeah, my favorite moment was when was when the main character went Super Saiyan and the, the, the beat the shit out of the bad guy. I I just want to make sure that there's never a power up in my in my <laughs> series that's just like people literally do this shit where what? they're like, do you know that there's it is in Goat's comic that goes Super Saiyan <laughs> so she can win in the end. It's like, no. No, there's none of that. People only Sorry. talk about, people only make the Super Saiyan joke when it's literally gold hair. Yeah. <laughs> and a power well, up. She's blonde. She's literally blonde. She can't go Super Saiyan. She's already there. She go golden blonde. Isn't she like platinum blonde? She's platinum blonde, yeah. Yeah, she can still go gold. <laughs> it won't be very visible in a in a in a black and white format. Uh, it won't be very visible. Okay, you could add like shine to it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Metal sheen. I could put a metal sheen. On. But I'm not wanting to do that. <laughs> be like, Man, I can't wait to put that in there. It's like, no, I don't want it in there. You sure? No, I want her to grow stronger, but I don't want her to be like stupid. I don't want it to be stupid. I want her to earn <laughs> Alma her fucking Ultra power. Instinct. I mean, they earned the zeal. Uh huh. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? I don't. Let me fucking check. Fucking I, okay, alright. I don't want, I don't want it sexy. to look like everybody else's. You, want, you just don't want to be golden. I don't want her to be literally a Super Saiyan. I want her to be her own thing. 
How about that? Well, Is you could that probably better? copy Naruto and no one would. No one make people only make the joke when it's fucking. Uh, if it's either an eyeball thing or if it's gold. Because if it's eyeball, they go no to Sharingan, and if it's gold, they go Super Saiyan. Like it's literally anything else. It's like okay, <laughs> if it's literally anything else, but it's still a copy of something else. No one will, will care. Yeah, nobody cares. Okay, enough. Zeal is a miraculous power in the anime. Da, da. Um, I want to host a panel discussing your character's power well, levels we'll and who mm. would win in a hypothetical fights. Okay. Oh yeah, this is something. Yeah, this is something people hate about Zeal that I forgot about. So you know how like characters in the anime will have like a moment where they like they believe <gasps> and they draw the card they need. Uh, you know? Yeah. 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 So people, you know, that's just like, oh, it's a, it's fate or whatever. Like, you know, not, not too big of a deal. And it's, it's a, it's a power that Zeal has. Right? It's called a shining draw, mm -hmm. and he has the ability to perform it once per time, like once per Super Saiyan. <laughs> he right. can literally choose what card he draws next with his, with his power. <laughs> And people that's... don't like that, because they're like, oh, that's kind of overpowered. <laughs> that's kind of overpowered. It's kind of stinky. Oh, yeah, then he gets Zeal 2 and Zeal 3, which are Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> ba -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. I'm stronger. Uh, Frodo! Frodo! <laughs> I've grown stronger. Mm, I've got the super uh, the super <laughs> Saiyan. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? I've got super mm. Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to Photoshop that now. <laughs> Mary, Mary. Oh. Yes, baby. Okay, so they only can. I didn't know this because I didn't finish Zexel. Uh, they only can use it in certain in certain arenas, basically. They're limited to <laughs> pseudo space condition, which is only obtainable with inside the Emperor's Key or a sphere a sphere field. What's the sphere field? Oh, that yeah, the thing the bad guys use sometimes. It's like oh, you can use it against the Giga bad guy. You can use it against the Gigabat guy. So anywhere that's... that's not Earth, basically. You can do it. Uh, the time is kind of super limited. Is turning darkness to light, shining draw, Frodo. dark sexual. Frodo, sexual I'm going Ultra Chad! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Frodo! <laughs> Burb Tender can take on Goku. This Burb Tender would just... Would fuck Goku. What's her power? I don't. She isn't ridden with the power. I don't. You didn't hear what I said. She go. What did she do? I you didn't hear what I said. I, I said I, go ahead. I said she would fuck Goku. <laughs> she just fuck Goku. Yeah. That's her power. Yeah, she wins. That's her martial arts. <laughs> fuck food. <laughs> Uh, history in the anime and kill. I was told, I was told about Zexel while I was trying to I've gone, I've gone ultra instinct. What are my potatoes? <laughs> no, no, like, I hire the cards was just believing in yourself. Yeah. Art of Cards is an advanced way of saying believe in yourself. Yeah, it's just another version of believing in yourself. In the or Japanese like, version, yeah. it's believing in, you know, picking the right card. And a lot of people believe that his his uh, thing is uh, his Millennium Puzzle Piece is supposed to pick out the right cards. That's Kinda. not true. It's no. technically not true. Technically not, no. Yeah. One of the abilities the Millennium Puzzle has is, like, it increases your luck based on the wielder's skill. Yeah. The more skill you have, the more luck you then obtain from it, yeah. which is busted. You... Yeah, it's busted as shit. <laughs> it's, the, 
<laughs> and then Ten later, a Tem demonstrates the ability that he is so like confident and so powerful that he can change fate to give him a card he wants. But that's yeah, during the ceremonial duel at the end of the series. That's the only time he displays this ability, and that's at Tem, and he dies. Yeah. But it was called a shining draw, I think, by fans. I think. Yeah. And it's then. Called... And it's then, it's just the moment that. when your character's like, like, I need a specific card to win, and then they get it. Or they, it's yeah. like, I don't know what card I'm going to get, but I need a card. Then they get a card, and they're like, hey, that's that's what I wanted. Or that's you what I what? need. That, that works. I didn't know I wanted it, but I needed it. <laughs> like, in 5Ds, there's kind of a thing like that, where he can summon all the power of the dragon to make sure his top card is a specific, not a card he wants, but a specifically majestic dragon it the dragon puts it on the top of his deck because he doesn't normally have it at any point it's not right. the card he owns it disappears after battles like that's when that's one card specifically and he has to draw it he has yeah, but he still to has to it. yeah no, yeah it's, he's forced to draw it when he wants it and then he still has to like work with it because majestic dragon's a shit card <laughs> It's a tuner. In Yu Gi Oh! basically, if a tuner can't summon itself, it's pretty bad. Majestic Dragon's only ability is that you can only summon majestic monsters with it. Oh, that's so it's a not downside. Great. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. And majestic monsters are have a text that say they only be summoned by that card. So he still that's... has to first summon Majestic Dragon, wasting his normal summon, and then they get combo pieces on the field for. Majestic Dragon to work. Like, he still has to work for it. I'd yeah. say. His 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 OP thing is kind of... is fine. Shining yeah. Draw is, like, you can get any card you want one time, and you can choose one. In Zexel. <laughs> so, any card you want, any time you want, you get a ch And, yeah. You can do a lot with that. Well, I think them... I ruined chat. Apologies, go. Why? How did you do that? Majestic. Go to the Majestic. Ryu Fire from Attack. Street Fighter. The answer lies in the heart of the battle. F -f 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 uh, <laughs> Mayo thigh, uh, thick thigh, boxing. Uh, yeah, no, it's understandable, Lady Foxtrot. You're wonderful. <laughs> you're wonderful. <laughs> and you're stupendous. Keep that. Yeah. Keep being. Oh, yeah. I so think with like specifically, beautiful. is that the majestic monsters are two levels higher than their um than the main monster. Mm -hmm. So you need majestic dragon. You need the card, and you need another level one monster in your field. That's wow. The, yeah, you at least have to go. It's terrible in the real world, but at least you can. Uh, there's like steps. You have to like take steps out. You still have to use skill. Oh, so it, it sucks. Oh, so yeah. it... No, but the Jestic monsters in the anime are pretty strong. Uh, by the way, Lady Fox, right, oh, you're, like what'd you do? You, you were amazing and stupendous. And that you hang out with, uh, in chat makes you wonderful. But Majestic Dragon did get a, what's it called? A retrain yeah, recently. A, a I forget what it's called. A re a reprint? No, a retrain. What is that? Retrain means you make a card that is meant to be a card that an upgraded version of the card that already exists, since the card that already exists sucks. Not a evolution of retrain. Like so, so basically like, a fix. So there's battle ox, and then there's enraged battle ox, which is battle ox with a special ability. That's a retrain. Well, like, Star's Dragon has another card called Shooting Star Dragon, but that's an upgrade, since you're supposed to go from one to the other. You're supposed uh, to have them both. Majestic okay. Dragon got a card that is, um... You're just supposed to run... You're supposed to run that instead of Majestic Dragon. Base Where Lady is it? Fox What's it Dragon. called? Yep. Converging Will Dragon. Here it is. It actually has abilities that make it usable. So it's um its abilities are it cannot be used for synchro material except for majestic monster, you know, like the original. Uh 
This card's name becomes Majestic Dragon while it's on the field, so you know it, it works. <laughs> when you draw this card, you can reveal it and then special summon it <laughs> instantly. Right. So when you draw it, fucking you play it. Uh, then, if you control a level 8 or higher Dragon Synchro Monster, uh, you can special summon one level 1 Dragon Monster from your deck. You can only use this ability once per turn. Yeah, what? so if you draw it, you can instantly go into Majestic. Wait, 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 just say that one more time, because I, I was following, and then I just, I, okay. it dropped out of my head. If you draw it, you can okay. show it to you. You have to specifically draw it, so that is kind of a downside. Or not a downside, it is a limitation. It's not at will, it's when you draw it during your draw phase. Or I guess if you draw it with Pot of Greed, that counts too. When you draw it, you show it to your opponent, and you can summon it instantly. Then if you and then if you have a, a, a basically Star Dragon or a Red Dragon Archfiend, whatever cards you need to go into a Majestic Monster, right. you can summon a level 1 Dragon Monster from your deck. So basically, if you, if you have Star Dragon on your field, and you draw this card, instantaneously, you can go into Majestic Star Dragon. Like, instant. Snap of your fingers. You got it. Okay. So you know it works now. It, it can it can be used. It's still not good, but it works. It doesn't sound That's all like we want. it's good. That's all we want. We just want it to work. People want to be able to run the cool monster, even if it's not good. And now we can. We can run majestic monsters if we want. I'm turning that down so I can actually hear people. Yes. Goat doesn't Cause... hear. I'm listening to the uh, to the Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Not the horror of the rings. The horror of the rings. Well, they don't have it, so yeah. That's cringe. I know. So sad. The gay That's test how, will commence. How in five uncurvy minutes. Yu Gi Oh characters are. They're very uncurvy. Like, They're even very the, the sexiest line. female characters are not Kirby and Yu-Gi-Oh. They're not. Except the Shizu. Shizu's thick as fuck. Uh, where's my Shizu reference? Damn, girl, look at them thighs. Look at them hips. She got the fucking like the, she got the waist though. Akiz is literally wearing a uh Brain farting on the word. Uh, what's the thing you wear on your tummy to make you thinner? Um, the brain's farting on the name. A tummy tucker? I don't no. know. What? Rich people. A girdle? I think that's technically a name for it, but no, there's another word. Another name for a girdle. Yeah, isn't there? I think it's a, it might be a girdle too, but I know it had another name. The one that everyone else on the fucking planet uses. Sash? No, on your st corset. Thank you, Nito Keto. Corset. Corset. Yeah. yeah, no, that's not the first word that comes up though. Like That's what everyone like thinks so. Seven but that but that's not the first word on Google. That's so well, weird. Stupid. So weird. Because she wears I a corset, even she soul. has no hips. <laughs> and corset wow. is supposed to be like the the like <laughs> the thing that makes your hips look better. Uh, by the way, uh, shout out to Heaven. She is, she she's at nuts. the hospital. Oh, I don't yeah. know why. No. I hope I, that's all she told me. So, guys, keep her in your prayers. Just let her know. Her uh, I come. hope she's okay. Wait, is this character? Oh, this character has some hips, and he's a dude. Goal. Good for you. Best character. You know Thanks. Thanks, Yu-Gi-Oh. The, the dub makes a joke game. about his gender in the first episode. It's funny. It's, it's um... Does, wait, does the sub also make the joke? I don't know if the... Actually, the sub might make the joke, too. Let me check. Okay. 
No, you're gonna make me include the dot in doctor. You are. Fuck you. Sending good vibes to her. I know she needs it. She just needs you the love. You said goat vibes. Goat vibes. Send in the goat vibes. Well, I think in the dub there's like a the the joke is that he is complaining about like the the honorific someone was using on him like you gotta adjust me with more respect kind of thing mm -hmm. in the dub a character is like it's like um and then he like pauses for a moment and he says mister or ma'am and then like like are you like I don't know because he like is like looking at him and he doesn't know and character goes it's like, how dare you? I'm a doctor. <laughs> I'm a doctor. Well, all she sent me was, uh, thanks, hon, sorry, misdreamed, in the hospital. That's all she sent to me. She said, I, I asked her, I said, hope your day goes incredible. And she said, sorry, misdreamed, in the hospital. I don't know what that means. Could mean anything. So, hopefully it's not serious. Hopefully it's just, you know, hopefully it's nothing. Maybe it's ring. Maybelline. I saw the warriors. <laughs> they were coming. Yes, people like to joke in, um, re like, you give GX fans like to joke, like, oh, a uh, crowler is um uh in <laughs> three genders <laughs> male female doctor <laughs> pretty good three genders don't make the rules the the character like <laughs> the character in um the the, the Japanese version is a French stereotype and it's actually like way funnier. <laughs> right. They're like um but one of the things they just do which is kind of just neat is they they just they say senor and senora a lot. Mm. Or French for the, the Mr. and Mrs. But they also um he also goes uh Mamma Mia <laughs> Or not mommy Italian, not because he goes Mamma Mia. Yeah. Not not French mm -hmm. or bad. But Italian, he goes, Mamma Mia. Uh, what else does he have? Because he says a few fucking stupid things and I love it. There's a list on his Wikipedia page. Uh he got oh one time he says Parmesan Chi. Oh my gosh, me permission. Oh, in Japanese, he also talks like a, like kind of like a dick. <laughs> I mean, he is a dick, but you know, some extra dick mannerisms he has. Like he, well, I I associate this with like pretty dickish characters, like when they end like sentences with stuff like, like ne, nee. because it's like, because like, that's kind of, like that's short for like, like right, right, like the, like they end like every sentence with it, so they're like. Well, so it's kind of like Lady a dick. Foxtra, that would be alien cancer, and watch out. A lot <laughs> of people don't realize it, but that's that's the uh, idea for alien cancer, which turns you into a zombie. What? No, that LCD thing of putting your saliva on the LCD. I'm confused. For the gay test. Yeah, what, what about alien? Oh, just some bullshit I came out uh came up with on the spot. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you shit my bull? Uh, Wait, I just uh, noticed. Is Crowler buff? Is Crowler uh <laughs> uh game theory uh what? Crowler buff? Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is 
Why is this website treating it as if I'm holding down the control button? I'm not. I'm trying to scroll, it's like zooming in and out. What? What's happening? What's okay, happening? I fucking fixed it, I don't even know what was going on. Uh, let's see. Let me look for better pictures. Because like, in this shot that I'm looking at, like there's like a little bit of his like pectoral showing, and I'm like, you don't draw a line there unless they're like, they're like caked up on the chest, you know? Right. It's like, I ra I, I yeah I know what you mean. You can do a separator line. Right? It's on his ref is like is like um his uh like animation like ref sheet on there too. Is he jacked? Hey yo, is he secretly jacked. Because he's wearing like he wears baggy clothes and he's never oh, hold naked. Up. Hold on, is he jacked he, though? Is he jacked though? He jacked though? There's a, I have a screenshot of him like. In like a, a like a skin tight like uh onesie and I, that's just how I was to see his body type. So that's like a scene where he's like trying to take a photo of someone doing something illegal. While he is also doing something illegal. But you know, worth it. You know? Virtual. What folder is it on my phone? Is it in Wait, you're gay? Oh no, Lady you Fox Trap. Oh no. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Lady Foxtrot. My reaction Gay? images? Whoa. Well, I don't know. I don't know the about that. That, that, seems, that seems like a gay theory. It's not in my Yu-Gi-Oh! screen cap shoulder, or f f folder. It's not in my reaction images folder, but I saw it like the other day. Where is it? Is it in my memes folder? It shouldn't be. It should not be. Nay, it can't be. Captain, I think that you're uh, hella gay. No, just whoa, whoa, Wolf. You're being too much. Look at that, uh, look at that outfit you're wearing, Wolf. That's I'll never get tiny. over this fucking image I have of Obama dropping a sand block on Sky Does Minecraft. No, John, Obama says, I'm sorry, Sky Does Minecraft. And Sky Does Minecraft says, Oh, Jamina, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Jamna. Oh, jammed. Look, it's okay to be gay. It's okay to be straight. Go. Can it's you, okay to can be. Can you, you like not sexualize sex? Uh, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try my best. Holy dibbly. Checking uh, a memes folder quickly. See if I have the image of him that I could have looked up by now, but I don't. No, this is a principle. I know find. He's checked, I think. He's caked, as they say. He is about it, about it. For someone who loves Lord of the Rings, I... I did not finish the Lord of the Rings video game. I have it for free on my PS4. I just did not feel like beating it. Uh, do you know what his PhD is in? What what's his PhD in? He's a Yu-Gi-Oh character, it... just guess. Uh card games? Yeah. No, it's a PhD Damn. in dueling. That's not okay. <laughs> He he's a teacher at a school for dueling that Seto Kaiba Sorry. made. Bizarre feelings on Ojimas. I hate them in the anime. Pretty funny as cards. It's a jam now. It's a jam. <laughs> I don't remember that Nido Kido. What? Nido Kido no, says, no. "Remember the Law and Order episode where they talk about uh, GG and Tobuscus." Was the bad guy? No. <laughs> I don't. I was it. Uh, this one I remember. I think it's long. Is it Law and Order? Or is it? Let me something else. But it's like it's like 
basically the sauce as to why people like the long running hate for furries. Like it all stems from like one point in human in like human history. Where I think it was the Law and Order episode. Where it showed it had it featured a furry, and it was most people's introduction to furries. Mm. And the character had a very ugly fursuit and was like uh like a giga like sex pervert prostitute. And it was like mm. most people's first introduction to furries, so everyone's like, Oh yeah, that's a furry. That's what furries are now. This is yeah. this will become pop culture for eons. Thanks. I think it's Law and Order. There's a cop show, I don't remember. Fictional cop show, not even a real one. Like not like um Bad Boys or whatever, which is like like actually following real cops. Right? That's what Bad Boys was. What? You the mean show? A movie? No, there's oh, a sh Bad there's Boys a show. Is a show. Oh. It's a show where it's like it's a like it's like police footage. Yeah, real. It's like, yeah. It's like a guy in a cameraman and he's just cops. following police. No, is it? You mean Oh, they sing the song cops. Bad Boys, but it's called Cops. Yeah. Yeah, it's just called Bad Cops. Boy. Yeah, it's just called I was like wait, My brain wait. was confusing shit, don't worry about it. Okay. That's very Wait, Johnny Fox says it might be a CSI episode. I think it was CSI. Hold on. CSI uh -huh. Furries. It is CSI. It's the blue cat lady. Yes, this is it. It's the episode's called Fur and Loathing. <laughs> it, that, that SVU. SVU. Yeah. Uh, oh, Law that, and Order. SVU. This one's CSI. Yeah, it's a CSI. Season season four. Damn, remember when they were in single digits like eons ago? Yeah. Is that the episode? Let's see. Oh no. Neon Kino is saying, or thinks it was this Law and Order episode. No, I, no this, I looked up the CSI furry, and yeah, this this is this is her. Yes, the creepy CSI furry. Yeah, this was literally like, like like everyone's first introduction to furries, and that's why it is. Seen as the reason why furries are, or got so much hate, you know. I think furries were going to be hated either way. No, they weren't going to get. I think. Well, I think I'm going to hate a little, like how anime is hated. But like, because most people's introduction to anime is like fucking Dragon Ball, it was more like a hate of just you're you're watching too much of a thing. You're not like. No one's gonna be like, oh, you watch Dra no one's gonna be like, Ooh, Dragon like Ooh, Yeah, Dragon no, Ball. I Ooh. see Ooh. I see everybody has Dragon Ball. Yeah. Everybody loves Dragon Ball. It's like is the first introductions that they get, it's like it multiplied the hate that might have happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at the CSI Wikipedia for the furry episode. Let's see, let's what happens. Plot. Uh, death. Uh, someone died to an 18 wheel. Crossbones to find another victim, a man and a raccoon. First, the. Uh, I like how. <laughs> it's like. S -s better source needed. It's like. You couldn't tell it was a raccoon. That says how bad it probably looked. <laughs> uh, there this leads to a furry convention. Let's discover among the attendees dressing up. Uh, sorry, in case one is found, man is found dead. A sword room, distraught, or poor again. Yeah. Look. Okay. Very weird. Okay. If you search up the words in that one episode, let me see. Incognito yeah. tab. If I just say CSI, that one episode. Yeah. Yep, it, it it literally is. It's the first thing. That one episode. I'm gonna screenshot it and send it to to VC. Oh yeah, it's awesome. The incognito tab and everything. Look, look in VC, go. There it is. 
God, is there a fucking camel character who doesn't have her fucking shoulders covered oh so I know how to fucking draw shoulders in this art style? Damn it, shoulders. God damn it, shoulders. Why, why you gotta be head, head and? Shut up. <laughs> They're like, you get no points. Uh, I'm gonna take away points for you even try. I mean, you never had points. No, wait, what arm is Reigns left on? Let's, uh, let's raise it up. Not too raised. It's raised more than resting. Yeah, Furry is like ancient. It's the natural state of humans to be a furry. <laughs> it's not, not true. Why are there so many fucking religions that are furries, huh? Hmm? I'm just saying that that's not natural tech. state. It's not the natural state. It's I, the I natural wouldn't state. say the natural. It's state. the natural state. Like you know, like you shouldn't be identified as a furry. It should just be non-furries and normal people. Feel me, goat. Uh, well, you got, you got, uh, you got people that identify as dwarves. So I mean, I understand that. I don't know. I know a lot of people that identify as dwarves. It's mm. weird. No, like the fantasy dwarf. What? Like they identify as a fantasy dwarf, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, all right. Hi, Tyrus. But... How you doing? He says I'm not a furry, but <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Welcome to Zara's channel. Have you have you seen where you are right now? Like, you know, but yeah, I, you know how, like, it's like, like, like I'm autistic, and it's like, if, if autistic was the default state, then you wouldn't be calling it autistic. <laughs> it would yeah. be, it would be people, and then and the other people. Yeah. So it should be, it should just be people, and not furries. <laughs> That's what it should be. Furry is the default state of a human being. Uh, as we know, the means are the uh, are the means of production. No, no, no. What is it? The means are the uh, DNA of the soul. The you dumbass. Yeah, the the DNA of the soul. Yeah. Oh dang, Crawler's kind of caked. I just noticed like his ass. No, you're not, Tyrus. I don't think so. At least. What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Darius, come on. Let us know what what you what you know in the comments below. Look, look. It's okay if you're gay, and it's okay if you're not gay. Yeah, it goes like giga gay. He would know. I am not giga gay though. <laughs> How are you not? It's cool that people are giga gay. I'm not giga gay. Yeah. Uh huh. Though. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go, literally. Yo, ho, ho. You're, you're literally. Literally what? You know. No, I don't. You do. Let, let me know in the comments below. No. What the fuck did I just find? What the fuck did I just... Let me zoom and enhance. Zoom and enhance. What? Well, sounds like uh, head cannoned body types of Yu Gi Oh characters. I'm not and was, thick either. And I was very confused. It's like I had a character, and then like, but like in their art, he's like Giga, like he's like he's like way darker than what he is. And I'm like, I was like, I was like, took a like a double take. I'm like, it's not. He's like, he's very, he's very tan, but he's not like that tan. 
or that like dark me like what i was just, like off i was like so thrown off i was like what well, the fuck is that <laughs> oh hulk will sue you for uh a lot of these other colors are correct i'd say it's gonna be accurate uh, i am not i'm not gay well and then they made this one too light for the character well <laughs> uh, let's see i'm trying to find shops of characters that isn't fan art but they're like more nude than normal mm -hmm. i can fucking bring out body types in this art zone yeah thank you for the follow i oh. really appreciate it you didn't have to oh if he's like um oh aki in her own jumpsuit that's pretty that's skin tight Writing suit. Uh, I drink nothing. <laughs> yeah, go set and go. You gotta be more specific of what needs to be known. Okay, here we go. We got a body type. Ignore the fact uh, why I have a random singer and pictures of David Bowie open. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Your pan? I can get that. Uh, your Those skillets have some curves, my dude. I was going to talk about pots. And I just assume everyone's Timmy Pan. Oh, okay. A whoop. Eat the goat. Don't eat me, demonic. I just assume everyone's a demo knight. Mm. <laughs> We love to eat goat. Don't eat me. No, stop it. Quit, good meat, quit trying to eat we, me. Oh yeah, we have to milk you first. No, don't don't do that either. Why not? Don't do either of that. That sounds awful. Please don't. Why not? Huh? Because I I would appreciate you didn't. Why not? Why You're not, not using it. What do you I it doesn't matter. <laughs> It matters a little. Does it matter if I'm using it or not? But we want it. Hmm. You understand? <laughs> I understand that you're a weirdo. I'm not a weirdo. You are a weirdo. Go. Yes. Slander. Yes. Yes. Slander. Uh, say yeah. hygiene or die straight. <laughs> I've never heard of that. It's hilarious, though. Go. How do you feel about other goats constantly used in sacrifices? I think it's wrong. What about? I but we gotta milk wrong. you. What do you think about goats being milked for goat cheese? Look, it's either me or you, Thururu. At this point, he seems like he just eats at people. He nibbles at people all the time. Can we milk uh goat's venom? What? No, don't, don't, no, no, don't milk my venom either. Why no, not? Stop it. We need any venom. She, she's not gonna bite that much. You don't need any venom. She's not only want that venom, you dumbass. <laughs> you fucking idiot. And you can get it from somebody else. Yeah, I mean you're closer and convenient. No. What do you mean, no? You are. No, you know, it's good. I think you'll find it. You'll find a cure eventually. You are, Yu Gi Oh! arms are very not curvy, very straight. They are very, like, they are very straight. You know what? They're hella straight. Whoa, go. You can't say that in the year 2021. I can. I can't. No, remember I Twitter canceled straight people. Twitter tries to. What do you mean Japan tries to exists. Japan exists. There, there's lots of straight furries with uh, Japan. What? No. It's true though. No. It's true though. Hey, David Bowie song. Oh, goat not helping out the sick JK. <laughs> No, I don't say JK to that. You're right. <laughs> that sounds like, oh no, the hurricanes are terrible, JK. <laughs> JK. 
Like, no, why, why did you get know what? You know what? Hurricane Katrina was like, one of the worst Hurricane disasters Tortilla. that we've had in a while. JK. <laughs> what was the last hurricane that fucked over Texas? Tejas? Tejas is what it was called? <laughs> is that what it was called? I don't yeah, remember. Shut up. God, I need your venom for my Mountain Dew. No. Fuck, what was that one thing in, like, 2014? Where it, <laughs> it was so stupid. Like, it's went on rampant, like, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it in a way that makes sense, because definitions are so muddled, and Frost, it's so dumb. I love English. Or I love people. They're stupid. Uh, Feminists who don't believe in equality. <laughs> the dumb ones. Right. You know? In 2014, this is when they were like 10 billion times more active. Is, um, they're like, it's so sexist of the patriarchy to name, uh, hur all hurricanes and natural disasters after women. Like, not what? The hurricane naming system is every other hurricane's a dude and every other hurricane's a girl. Just because yeah, Katrina understand. was a girl doesn't mean it was sexism. Fuck you. Uh, like, I remember learning the hurricane naming system in school. It's every other... It goes yeah. up every year. Did it's you miss every... that day of school? <laughs> no, it wasn't... I don't think most schools did it, but I remember that in school I learned it and I'm like, I know you're wrong. Because how it works is every year... That you start at the letter A, it goes back to letter A every year, and every hurricane is one letter down name, and then every other name is a girl, and every other name is a boy name. Like that's that was the that's the naming system, and I don't think the gender resets at the year. I think it's just the letter. I think that's how it was, and they just pick a random name that like starts with the letter, and they name yeah. it. You know what? At least it's not anymore. For... It wasn't anymore by the time of 2014, Tyrus. You know what? It I used can't to be wait for Hurricane Jesus. Hurricane Charles. Hurricane oh. that this is, I never. I was like, I'm always like, what, what was the hurricane last horrible naming system? Let's see what, what it was is. Was the last horrible hurricane? Mm. Oh, okay. So the hurricane naming system, in more detail, is six. There's six alphabetized names. So with Q, U, X, Y, and Z not having not having a name, so they don't do those, and. That list go gets um goes through and only resets every seven years. Damn. Oh, there is also a uh, forecasted uh hurricane coming. Uh, uh Eastern Pacific Pacific. And that's only for Atlantic hurricanes. Apparently other seas yeah. have different her naming systems. But the Atlantic yes. ones are the big ones for America, so that's how they're named. Yeah, Hurricane Chimera. Oh yeah, that would be a great one. Hurricane, sorry, Unity Master. I literally <laughs> said Z's are skip. <laughs> uh, it's only twenty-one that'd letters be funny on the list. If they they were like uh, Hurricane uh, Vine Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Or Hurricane Simple Flips. Shout out to Hurricane Simple Flips. <laughs> DJ! Hurricane Property Damage. <laughs> DJ! How's the baby? Is it gay and in jail? <laughs> Gay baby jail. <laughs> so nine. No, shut up. No. Shush, shush. I made fun of Mips for like ten minutes when she 
tried to shout someone out, but she failed twice at the same time. So, you know, you have to do exclamation mark S O space and then a name. Yeah. She just did. So, for, she forgot the name. That's the first fail. The second fail is she forgot. She misspelled S O. And it was just C. So, everyone in the voice call just started saying C to fuck with her. And she was. <laughs> it's really funny. I had the clip of everyone fucking with her, but it doesn't make sense out of context because you're not going to notice the chat bar where she typed C. <laughs> C. <laughs> it is pretty good. So. $2,000. Hurricane. No! <laughs> no, it's not burp tender. <laughs> Hurricane burp tender for me. Let's go. Oh my god, you fucking assholes. All what of you mean fucking... assholes? Yeah, what I told have you multiple I times done? What is the flaw that I have made? Because that is none. <laughs> Your name is not fucking Burp Tender. We've you had this discussion. Are... I don't know why I'm an asshole. You are an asshole. What do you because... mean? <laughs> You're an asshole. You're an asshole. <laughs> you're an asshole. You're an asshole. I can say you're an asshole. I can say you're an asshole because it's true. It's you know what's really true. He's not. This is not. God damn it. You <laughs> fuck. You Losing. fuck nerd. It's my fault though. No, it isn't. It's no one's fault, but Zara's. No. It's not. It's just... <laughs> Gonna shift the blame again, I see. You're not <laughs> shifting the blame. It is your fault. How is it my fault? <laughs> How is it not it... your fault? Is it because I literally drew her too sexy? No. Is that what it was? There's a reason. That's not gonna tell you. Is it the reason that I literally also tear snow? I'm more. I'm more beautiful. Girls, girls, you're both beautiful. They're more beautiful. No, no, no. no. Zara is very beautiful. Shut Zara up. is very beautiful. Not when you say he, it. He's gorgeous. No. He's immaculate. I wish I could no, uh, dress, as, uh, dress as wonderful and Shut beautiful up. as Zara Unity Fest. Eat my anus. You asshole. I think I know what I'm gonna call Zara Unity Master in my comic. What? Uh, a tower. There's a tower a that needs a name. It's the call. Sorry. Thanks, Teams, for the follow. Well, no, you seem really familiar. Who the fuck are you? Maybe the baby would. Oh, know I know. Never mind. It's like that saint. You seem really familiar. Then I click on your profile and I see the profile picture. I'm like, oh no, man, I know now. You're from the. I keep calling it the secret Discord, only because the owner one time called it a secret Discord when I'm like, it's not very secret. He tweeted about it. <laughs> but they start Aww. they call it the secret Discord, so I call it the secret Discord. Well, why You're from you that. Keep I, bumping into it? I've seen you in it. And I, if I open it and I scroll up a little bit. Wait, no, I'm thinking of a wrong Discord. I'm thinking of the other Discord. Never mind, not the secret one. You're from Tilly's, aren't you? <laughs> I'm wrong. No, I mean, I'm wrong. I think you're from the... From Tilly's, right? Was my second guess right? Let's check. Fuck. I might be... Okay, I might have to go a third guess. Don't tell me yet. Fuck. Fuck. Not the set. Fuck. Don't, don't tell me, Tiris. I swear to God, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'll figure it out. I know I've seen you. <laughs> several times. Shh. <laughs> Dang it, that was my third guess. That was literally, I was, I had Gyaru's Discord open this very second. I had, I literally opened Gyaru's Discord to make my third guess, and then you tell me it's Gyaru's Discord. Who? Don't worry about it. Okay. You don't know, you don't know her. Okay. You're right, I don't know her. Yeah, name. Yeah, <laughs> name. Yeah, I literally right here found it. Found me. Are you not in the secret Discord? 
Oh no. That's weird. You're in Cadence's server, you're not in her secret server. Quotes, quote unquote secret, it's not secret. It's not secret. You're not in Cadence's sec secret, secret server. Why not, huh? <laughs> why not? Yeah, why not? Oh, huh? huh? why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you get <it> some secret. <laughs> I hate this bit. It's a bad bit. Why is it a bad bit? I like this bit. Nah, shut yeah, it's fantastic. So I clicked on your profile. You have no mutual server. That's the secret server. I just gave her a raid today. Uh, uh, it's her. Uh, she's posted out on Twitter. She just made a server for like her group, her circle. That's like. It's an open link. The link is literally on her Twitter. And you join it if you stream. And it's supposed to be for networking, but it died because everyone, like, everyone, no one wants to fucking, like, collab. You know, that's the point of the fucking server. Uh, I want you to add a, to a new PNG avatar, your current one, but it's monochrome and your eyes are bleeding uh you can go as a creepy pasta for halloween no i have an idea for a creepy pot uh for my halloween and i just spoil it you fuck what is that what you were gonna go as no okay then then i didn't spoil anything hey dude what you want me to you want me to draw <laughs> oh, Terrence, but I can it. probably just shoot you like a uh uh a, a, a invite link to that server. You might like it. We might try to. I might try. I might try to revive it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Dang, Kronos has some fucking. Haves on his model. Look at look at that. Oh, look at his canes. Oh, I'm look. I'm oh, making canes. sure my my shape <laughs> went correctly. I'm just my reference. making sure. Hang on. Okay, I'll look at your reference. Okay, yes. Tiresco. God damn. God damn. <laughs> he got some calves, though. He is. He, that's further supports the Jack theory. He's. I mean, even though fucking, calves are purely genetic, he, this this is an art style. So he is shredded. Like what the <laughs> he's, fuck? He's built. Also, that dick bulge is sizable. That is a sizable. Does she mean a a Rue? Hmm? Uncle Owen. Who? Uh, whatever. Yeah. Rue these nuts. You'll rue the day. <laughs> oh, that's a fucking good one. I gotta use that on someone. Like a ligma, but like the the ligma is rue, and then when they say rue, they're like who's rue, and I'm like rue the day you were born. <laughs> you know, got like that classic old villain I saying. I joined the stream and go was there, but his eyes were oddly realistic. No, they're hyper real. Weird. You fucking yeah. dumbass! It's hyper realistic. That's what that's what Nito Kito just said. I'm calling Nito Kito a dumbass. So I read it too. Be right back. Hopefully, I must trick this child into sleeping. Love your yeah. kid. <laughs> Guilt trip cadence. It's funny. So his <laughs> knees are very bulbous. That looks very good. That looks good. What do you think? Hmm? The the shading on the hand. Looks like a hand. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm trying to go for, is that it's supposed to look like a hand. Oh, that's terrible, it's... actually. Damn it. If only I could make it look more like a hand. You will trick that child into sleeping, I promise you. Oh god, don't make promises you can't keep. You will get- you will trick that child. God oh, you didn't it. fucking finish the quote, you dumbass. What? 
Me? <laughs> Those are the best kind. <laughs> you know, from Spid Spiddler Man? Which Spiddler Man? There's many Spiddler Man. The not so amazing one. Oh, damn. The Toby Fox? Shut the fuck right. up. <laughs> Kick your ass. And then he turned to the face of the camera and said, fuck. Then my mom walked into the room and said, are you swearing? I said, it wasn't me. It was I know this, this one. Fuck, what's that one's from? It's like a purposefully shitty one. There's some YouTuber I follow. I still follow him. I just don't. I just hadn't clicked on a video in like nine years. <laughs> and he um, he had a series called Bullshit Creepy Pasta Story Time. Nice. Like he would dramatically read shitty creepy pastas, and I heard so much hyper realistic blood. <laughs> That's what they fucking always say. It's so they good. Had rest in Gavi. But his eyes were completely bloodshot. Yes, I wonder if when if if and when you do guilt trip cadence. I wonder if if she, if she'll even understand what you mean if you just say secret server. Because she's only mentioned the server once, and that and it was like when it was made, and she called it the secret server. So I don't even know if she knows she called it that. <laughs> That's the funny thing. I don't even know if she knows that's what it's called. Or that's what she called it once. Okay, when's the, when was the server made? It has to be like... It can't be too long. Because... Probably like around November? When it was made? Did she tweet about it? I'm checking. I'm checking. There's a channel I know that has like no text in it, but had a message day one. Oh no! Okay. Eleven twenty-eight twenty twenty-one. Yeah, it's supposed to help like small people grow, but then I'm like, hey, can I get help? And they're like, no. get wrecked. Okay, cool. <laughs> Man, I need help sometimes to grow. Shut up. <laughs> Let me ask. You're like, not that kind of grow. No, your joke just is worth more than negative points. <laughs> Uh, Wait, I'm thinking about the height differences because I still have that um, Jaden is basically as tall as you say image up. Mm -hmm. I'm think I just thought about it because I'm using it as like a mini reference for something, and if that's how tall you say is, Joey's like taller than you say. Right. That's a weird thought. I don't like that. I don't, I don't like Joey being taller than you say. Tristan's probably taller than you so fuck. I don't fuck like that. Bro. I hate that. Calm fuck, down. bro. I don't you know say if I can height. Because I know they have all their height. 175 centimeters. Okay, how tall is... How tall is Joey? Uh... Hundred seventy eight. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck, dude. I I hate that. You shape. You say should be. How tall is Yusaku? I think he's like the tallest protag. He looks like the tallest protag. Is he? Oh, he's one centimeter taller than you say. Amazing. And it's simply spectacular. It's like a Roxy. Well, pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to see you back. Um, I'm Go Chimera. I'm back. I'm 
Oh yeah, okay. What's well, Hanfeld's Duke? Hanfeld's Dick Devlin. Because I know mostly original Yu-Gi-Oh characters have canon heights just because of the older books of lore they release where they include like blood type and shit. 179 centimeters for Duke. Yeah, because there's like a book that was released with that had like everyone's blood types in it for like the original like series. That's a superstition. That's the, that's the Japanese version of cringy zodiac signs. Except most people believe in it. Yeah, most Japanese people believe in it. Look, there's a good fucking post from someone, or a good comment from a video I watched recently. Where the the guy in the video he said like, it's like it's it's weird. Like this is like, like this is a shit horoscope. Like, like you don't like it. It doesn't sound anything like me. Which horoscopes are supposed to sound a little bit like everyone because they're trying yeah. to trick you. <laughs> but this is like a this is like a horoscope that doesn't you. even apply to me. Yeah. This is it's trying to gaslight you. That's what it's trying to do. It's not a gaslight. And, and they're always like positive traits. They're always like you find yourself working so you find yourself working hard. Mm -hmm. Like no. You're a person who likes to eat food they think tastes good. Okay. That's not it's not very like horoscopy, but alright. <laughs> so. You like to poop. It's not very horoscopy, it's just You know like the, the starter pack memes? Yeah. My favorite one got reposted recently, and I, I had a little smile at the repost. Where it was like, it's called the You Starter Pack. <laughs> and it's like, you are the hype that you are. Oh, you prefer oh, good to... news, Psycho Roxy! Nice! Yeah. Just hurts. Nice. Awesome! Yeah. It's nice. like, um, you were born the year of your birthday. You, you prefer to eat foods you like rather than foods you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you enjoy your interests. <laughs> what? It's what a... the fuck is it? This is not a horoscope. What it wasn't a horoscope. I said it was a starter. It's the starter pack from like starter pack memes. Oh, okay. It's like was it was like, called the you starter pack. Okay, okay, <laughs> the, okay. Now it's making sense. I literally was like, "Is this a horoscope?" I literally prefaced <laughs> starter pack memes, and I said you starter pack. Okay, alright. Yeah, it's just Go a bunch ahead. of like stock photo photos of guys smiling. It was like only like four images. When I might I might have uploaded it. It might be my recent upvotes. So I might be able to find because they had four images and I only mentioned three. I can't remember the third one. <laughs> All I remember is you are the height you are, you you enjoy your interests and you prefer to eat foods that you like rather than foods you don't like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so meaningless bullshit well, yes because the, that's the joke it's, yeah it's you it's funny it's yeah. funny because it, it's meaningless bullshit yeah <laughs> it's funny it is i'm not saying it isn't i'm saying yeah, you're uh -huh, very uh -huh, funny uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. you are like the funniest guy that i know you're like the second funniest guy i know <laughs> i'm hungry Oh, uh, okay, if you're hungry, oh, there's yeah, a good Thai, Thai place nearby. Nice. I just found a fortune cookie. Uh, I forgot from yesterday. Hell yeah. Alright. Have a safe things. trip. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Like a bitch. There's, a, there's a leak, I think. Or maybe it's in a trailer. I don't know or care. But there's a scene in Thor Love and Thunder. Like, there's screenshots to prove it and shit. So if it is a leak, because I don't know if it's a leak or a trailer. Thor is um naked, tied up, and being oogled at by women, and it's supposed to be a comedy scene. Mm. It's like, no, that's um that's a crime. That's a uh crime. That's not funny. That's not okay. But that's it's okay because it's a man. D uh -huh. Disney, 2022. Thanks, Disney. Yeah, I just scrolled past that. Like, 
Uh, it's from sh it's from shitty movie details, which is a great subreddit. Where it says. In Thor, Love and Thunder, 2022, Thor is stripped naked and against his will and Google that. It's okay to, it's okay to laugh because he's a man, said uh, because Disney is stupid. <laughs> this is a subtle hint that Disney is stupid. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good Easter egg. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> I love that's shitty movie Easter details. Egg. I think the first like post that got me into shitty movie details was, was in Iron Man... 2012. I think that's when it was released. No, 11. 2000, in Iron Man 2011, uh, they had to make accommodations for actor Tony, or for actor Robert Downey Jr. as he had a life-threatening oxygen dependency. So they filmed the whole thing on Earth just to accommodate for this. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Fucking awesome. <laughs> He'll be sleeping soon, thankfully. Yay! Oh, by the way, guys, Medic from TF2 is going to hell this year. No, oh, also, uh, also, they have told us holiday, uh, 2022, which is this holiday, for, uh, for the Harry Potter game. <gasps> so they have given us a possible date. It was supposed to come, it was supposed to come this summer. Yeah. But they are pushing it back to... Thank goodness. I'd moment. hate fucking releasing games early, just because. Yeah, just to hit that fucking... Push it back date. to next holiday if you really need to. Yeah, please. I, I, I would... I, I would be mad, but I would be more mad at, like, you shouldn't have fucking made me so excited! Yeah. You bastards! Bastards. Fuck, I don't think I saved the meme. Could I? How, how could you not save the meme? So sad. How could you do this? How could you do this? How could... How could this happen to him? me? Did I save it in my phone? Nope. Just porn. Just porn. What if I just look at you starter pack, it will show up. Uh, Lady Rockstar has sent me a message. Nice. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, there's a bunch of versions. It's not the one I like and no. Remember Star Wars? Remember? Remember Star Wars. Oh, no. Would you like? Would you like Zara? Zara, would you like carrot on a fucking pizza? I would m might murder for that. Yeah, yeah, Lady Foxtrot, you ah. put a fortune cookie on there. I, okay, here I got it. Here, the last one was born at least once. <laughs> was the final one. You are as tall as your height. You prefer to eat foods you like rather than foods you dislike. Born at least once. You enjoy your interests. Mm. I don't think all these proportions. You think they're correct or you think the torso is too short? Let me see. Torso might be let too me, short. Let me see these fucking proportions. Let's see these shit ass proportions. I'll shit your ass in public. I think the torso. You could lengthen the torso just a little bit. I'll lengthen your torso. Yeah, just lengthen it just a bit. I mean, you like the... Struggling to find something? What? He said you like the... <laughs> I'm assuming you're going to say something Star Wars related and you couldn't think of anything that I like. <laughs> No, I was thinking of, like, you like the Yu-Gi-Oh! style. I mean, if that's the case, I mean, you have you drawn you and a with a dual disc? In the past, Zara, obviously. Yeah, but, but now you could have a dual disc. It would be funny. I think that would be a great outfit. What the dual? Where the fucking dual disc gonna go, don't I? <laughs> Unless I make it a... A ch what Crowler has, which is called a dual vest. 
Which, while I really think the dual vest is underappreciated, no, because it's a really good style. There's like three characters who have a dual vest, and it looks amazing on all three of them. Yeah. And I'm why like, not? why don't more like awesome characters have dual vests? Let me look it up. I think I know what you're talking about. It's the one on my dual screen. Vest. It's the one Crawler has, the blue guy on my top of my screen. Dual vest. Uh, it's called the dual yeah. vest. Or no, dual jacket. I think. I think it's dual jacket. You know. Is it dual jacket or dual vest? I'm going to the official dual disc Wikipedia page. Yeah, because that's all the types. Is it vest or jacket? I think it's jacket. Crow okay, I'm on the list of unique dual discs, which has... Dual Academy, dual coat. Dual coat. Jacket was close. It's a dual coat. Which is weird, because it's not really a coat. None of them are coats. They're just like... They're just like a thing strapped to your chest. Yeah. More like a vest. So that's why I call them dual vests. Okay, uh, this one, this one of these dual, the the Cyber Design Maximilian Pegasus dual coat looks shit. That's the only one that looks like shit, though. The rest look great. Good night, God and Zara. Take care. Yo, See you yo. later, Z Nito Kido. See you oh, later, yeah. Zara. Axel's gun dual disc. He like he can take it off and it turns into like a, a like a shotgun that shoots cards that are on fire. It's it's as dumb as it sounds. It's pretty fucking stupid. The cards into burn cards, literally. Nee nee. I am momentarily free from the child. You will never be free from the child. Destroy it. This is a this is a moment of freedom. Cast into the fire. Destroy it. Destroy it. What are you doing? We need to keep... We need to keep the ring. What are you doing? Yeah, so did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it's awesome. That's something so, I put on my character. Yeah, you could do something like that. No, I just don't think I put on my character. Unless I have a disc design that has my some of my favorite designs. Yeah. Like the boomerang design from what's his name? Jim. Jim Crocodile Cook. <laughs> fucking love that. He's so fucking funny. I fucking love Jim. He has the because they're all transfer students and he's from Australia. So in the dub they gave him a very funny Australian mannerisms. He doesn't actually have many they don't actually do so in GX is the series where Kronos slash Crowler is he has an Italian stereotype in Japanese. None of the transfer students have really too many like stereotypes from their countries. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Like the most is Jim, who has a crocodile on his back, wears a band wears a fucking cowboy, like an Australian cowboy hat, and has and his dual disc is vaguely shaped like a boomerang. That's about it. <laughs> like the British guy, is he all? Is he all British? He not not got his teeth knocked in or anything. <laughs> uh, American characters are just normal, dude. <laughs> uh, That's why I say momentarily. Fun fact: in the manga, which is a separate canon, and people fucking forget that because they're stupid. Uh, uh, Jim is a bad guy. Huh. Now, if you don't know the relationship between the Yu-Gi-Oh manga and anime, is that they're written by separate people, but they share characters, mm. and they are two separate timelines mm. in which very different things happen. Like they're not like the average manga anime. Manga is written, ma anime copy manga. Like that's how that's how how that's how business go. In Yu-Gi-Oh, the anime is usually written first, <laughs> and the manga is written later. Usually, like the only two anime mangas that are anime manga or that are similar are the original series, where the anime was pretty much copying the manga. 
for, on purpose, obviously. Not, that's not like a downside or anything. That's just how American it works. is mutated British. I don't know about that. Like, like GX, ne like most iconic card from GX, Neos. He's not in the manga. Huh. Jaden's ace monster is Terra Firma, a fusion monster who is part of the the nine planets that of cards. Oh. Except his is the only one not called the like. Which is, it's weird, because his represents Earth. All the other cards in the planet set are all called, like, the Pluto, the Sun. I think they include, you know, it's ten planets, sorry, because they include the Sun. <laughs> which isn't a planet, but whatever. Uh, It's like the Sun, the Mercury, You could and have that. said the Solar System set? It's called the Sun, it's called the Ten Planets set, that's the name. Hmm. And dumb. Terra Firma, despite not following the naming convention, is part of the set. Because the character who made them is, All um... Right. We'll see you later, it's, um, Xbox. It's Phoenix's dad, who in the anime made the Destiny hero cards. In the manga, he was, uh, a, a Saiyan was like, hey, make me some OP cards, please. Right. Or you will die. And then he made them, he's like, you're gonna die anyway. <laughs> and he made the ten planet, he, he made the ten planets set. Which are the most powerful cars than the MacGuffins and whatnot. And Jane's car is Terra Firma. Which is a hero monster. Which makes no sense for the lore, but, you know, it makes sense because he's a hero user. Ooh. Oh, Gurren Logan was an anime first, then manga. Neat. Didn't know that. Yeah, also with the, yeah, that's how it works with Yu-Gi-Oh basically. Different writers for both. And they're different timelines. Like people will be like, "Oh, this is non-canon." Like like they'll say like mention like the first anime and be like, "Uh, this arc, like the 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 Awakening Dragon's arc from the original Yu-Gi-Oh." They're like, "It's non-canon cuz it's not in the manga." It's like No, that's, it's not canon to not the manga it... timeline. Yeah. Cuz the shit that happened, because, okay, let's say, because, no, no, they're actually separate cans. Like, things will get referenced that happen in the original anime that are, like, in later series that didn't happen in the manga, because they're on a separate, they're on separate tracks. <laughs> Good night, Textbox. Have an amazing one. If you need to go to bed, go to bed. It's okay. Like, the, the Awakening Dragon's arc is canon. Despite what people will say. DJ prefers GX. GX is amazing. I love GX. I don't know anything about GX. It's uh, pretty... Pretty, uh, pretty good. Yeah, I'm almost done with this animation. Nice. I'm literally almost done. All I need to do is fucking split it up and then put it on, uh, put it into their own GIF, uh, GIF things. Or I can just, what I can do is that I can just Turn this off. Turn that off, and then save it, and then get rid of the background. Right, and then what's the website that I need to go to to make it into a? Uh, I don't into... know. I don't know. Why huh? I don't know. You don't know. No. Okay. I'll figure it out then. Yeah, there's my remember there's a button to export all frames in an animation. You don't have to do it one by one. Just remember. So I feel like you would not remember. I would not remember. It's in the export when you go to file. You know. File export animation image sequence. Hmm. And then you can image sequence it uh without all of that, and then you then you just make the separate GIF. What? Yeah, make the separate right. GIF in another program. Yeah. Well, I don't have the other pro. Oh, do you know a a program? Well, you need a transparent GIF, don't you? Yeah. No. No. Uh, okay. Adobe Premiere. I don't. Other than that, I don't know. Yeah. I used a sketchy website once. Easy GIF is shit because it compresses too much. It does. 
Boom. It's good for quick gifts, but not like this. Let's yeah. see. What are what? Let's see. Uh, high quality and yeah. There's usually editing programs for videos. I have a chance to print a gift. Fresh five online transparent gift maker websites. Well, they're probably gonna be shit. They're online since they compress more. That they don't know. Easy gift. Nope. Easy gift is shit. And that was number one. So I yeah. know this, this list is bad. Lunapic. Uh, Lunapic. Exciting. Does, it I does know. not set a number of things. Select the mission. Giant gift sent to him. Upload an image. Gifts. Okay. It doesn't Lunapic. mention any limits. So maybe Lunapic? Lunapic? Yeah. That's I'll go to Lunapic real fast just to check for you. Okay, thank you. Uh Lunapic gif. Where'd the person would the guide say to go? Uh, use But if Open I'm the website this... select animation or a gif. Animation. I can yeah. I can work on Starfinder stuff, or I could go to bed early tonight. That would be crazy. There doesn't appear because, like, yeah, Easy Gift when you're setting it up, it's like it has quality options, and like the highest quality is like only available for two second gifts, and it's like, oh, well, that's probably okay. more than what you need to go. <laughs> yeah. And if this one doesn't uh... appear to have any, it might auto compress, but it usually they tell you when they're compressing. But I don't know. Try Lunapic. Lunapic? Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll remember to save it. Lunapic, free online photo editor, uh, GIF. We do this part of the like. This part of the like is fucking blowing up my brain hole. Okay. Remember, guys, religious movies are either the worst thing you'll ever see or the best thing you ever see. Like Prince of Egypt, that's pretty awesome. Watch Prince of Egypt. <laughs> Wait, no, that's music. So Music's a 50-50 when it's religious. So I need to... take all of these... 41 frame. uh, no, uh, how many frames? Yeah, basically 41 frames. How is this right? And then right compress, th and compress them. No, export them. Export all of these. Yes, yeah, yeah. How's this, like, how's this the stage right leg -like look? Let's see. Bring out, zoom out on the reference I'm using. So, I think it's fine. I mean, you know, it looks like always... the reference. Uh, not the exact no. calves, just the calves. No, I think that it needs to be lifted up. If that's the case, if you're trying to go with the reference, then you're gonna have to lift it up. Lift him. Like if you're going with it, uh, if you're talking about her left leg. That it needs to be moved down. If it's her right leg, if you're talking about her right leg, it needs to or be moved left. That's up. why I say stage right. Okay, left leg needs to be lowered down just a little bit, because it's looking up at an angle for him. I so barely angle, angle. Yeah, the angle. the left the left knee is further down than the right knee. But if you're if you're keeping that angle, I'll try. Well, uh, it's almost done. I've got a I've got a bit more shading to do, but it's almost done. I was gonna restart this like it's cringe. Well, that's cool, DJ. I'm glad that you're uh that you figured out how to how to crochet. I'm just tired. I might play a game. 
on maybe uh, play a game, but I don't know. I I might need to do Starfinder stuff. I always need to do more stuff. On Scar's fart streams, she's been doing crochet. Now we've mm -hmm. just been renaming crochet every like two seconds. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, she says crotchet, because that's how it's spelled, because it's funny to say it like that. Right. And I eventually was like, man, your crow shit looks pretty cool. <laughs> that's the one I like to use, is crow shit. It's pretty good. Oh, what do you mean it's hilarious? I know. That's why I said it's pretty good. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. That's funny. I think you're a funny man. Uh-huh, 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 uh -huh, uh -huh, It's true. I know. It's crazy that, that I That's think... That's a great joke you're telling, Mark. I have not watched any Markiplier in a while, so... It's not what I... What? Uh, you Unrelated, said Mark, but and I thought of... <laughs> Markiplier is the only Mark on the planet game. <laughs> yeah. Of course. It's not like they're so famous for having a story who was named Mark. Oh, what a story, Carl? Mark. Carl. What a story, Mark. You like Mark's story? No, I don't know who Mark is. Ha <laughs> what a story, Mark. No. Nope. You stupid. I don't know who that is. I mean, that's, that's true. We know this. It's from the room. <laughs> oh. It's ha ha ha, what a story, Mark. Wow, how's your sex life? Why does Tyler so make that <laughs> What a fucking asshole. Oh, awesome. What thing do you mean, what ass? What? What would I say? How's your, how's your oh. sex life? That's such an asshole thing to say. Like, what do you mean? It's you not an asshole that? thing to say. Why would you say that to your friend? He's like, wondering. Not... He's curious. Real, guys being curious. it's a locker room talk i uh, okay all right cool cheering you he's like he's like so kind of babes my guy oh yeah chapter two of poppy playtime it's all right it's all right and they call tommy was so an asshole how could you say that i'll ask tom, your hole of tom tom wise up uh, i'll ask your entire hole Whoa, whoa, man, not cool. Actually, it's pretty cool. It's not. It's, not it's pretty cool. I've been running I'm gonna, a fan I'm all gonna day. Call you, I'm going to call you out on this one. It's not I'm going to cool. call your mom out. Okay. Get me, okay. Get me, Nene. Yeah, I love the song from Mario Odyssey, but Mario Odyssey sure does, sure does suck uh, penis, as they say. But I like Mario Odyssey. Well, it's I'm good. sorry you like sucking penis. I like it. It it makes... it It's very good. I would say it's Don't one worry. of the best Mario games in <gasps> recent time. I hate that you would say that. There's so many good I would ones. Say... Like I Mario Maker say, 1. I would say very, very easily that it is a great game. Well, I'll kick your son in the ribs. Uh, I would say I like the mechanics. I like the mechanics of the game. Uh, if I'm gonna in in all honesty, I like the mechanics. mechanics. What's up? Hmm? Hmm? I don't know what you said because I talked over you and I feel bad about it. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> well, yeah. That shit scares the hell out of me. What? Living dolls scare the hell out of me. Who? Oh, for Poppy Playtime. You get scared by Poppy Playtime? Yeah. It's spooky. It's funny. Yeah, I know it's funny. I, I'm a big baby. You're, 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 you're very much right. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't I? I'm always right. What do you mean? 
I am not saying you are. I'm saying that you are. Uh, 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 uh. I'm saying that you're a wonderful friend, and I really appreciate you. Oh, don't worry. Okay. Uh, I think that you're stupendous and amazing. Well, don't worry. It's not cool. I think your art's pretty dang cool. No, oh, that's all. I don't say that. Yeah. I think that, uh, I think it was an inside job. I mean, yeah, how could the planes get that far? I mean, they'd have to cross the entire planet. Yeah. That's my favorite, that's my favorite image. I love, I love, like... Have you seen it? I love um, the, I love the inside, any of the inside job shit, and it makes absolutely no fucking sense as a whole. Like, it, it literally makes no sense. And it's so funny. I don't know uh, if you believe in this stuff or not, uh, but we had an issue with uh, my oldest son's Woody from Toy Story moving to different parts of the house on it, its own. Yeah, like an NBC. For why it's an empty yeah. job. That's creepy. That's creepy, DJ. Or could be... And this is just a theory Come on. that maybe your uh, your kid was moving it. There was a possibility that your kid is moving it. How dare or, you accuse that? Or your kid. husband was moving it and fucking with you. There is a possibility. I'm not trying to uh, imply anything. I, I just looking on PC. <laughs> It's not, it's satire, by the way. It's not serious. Do you like it good? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Most people point out, the funny part, people who don't get the joke point out, like, they can fly over land and not the other very obvious thing. <laughs> I'm like, well, my first thing would be like, <laughs> oh no, to make this even better, like literally put an arrow, like put an arrow directly, like it, they couldn't have flown this away, and like that's way too high in the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> no, but good, you not see how they? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's I a know. globe. I know. You know it's fucking, <laughs> it's fucking stupid. It's I love so it. funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh so man. good i love it that sounds spooky hey, good DJ, good. that sounds spooky i'm going to assume you're lying so that i can keep my sanity <laughs> good sanity is very shit, small that get that's scary good sanity is like zero he had not put points into his sanity score. Mm. He's what you call a dumbass at character creation. Yeah. I'm going to say... Mm, I'm going to say that either you're... You know, you didn't see the that culprit... You're a lying piece of shit? No, I'm not saying that she's lying. I'm saying that she... That, you know, I don't want to believe her. Let's so that I don't go crazy. Because if there's moving toys, it's like it's like that doll that that's in uh, New Orleans, or is it Florida? The creepy doll. I think it's New Orleans. That uh, that kid's doll that was made for him. That was supposed to be his friend forever. Yeah, Chucky from Chucky. No, no, that, you know what I'm talking about. Do I? Oh, fuck, that actually looked better that way. Yeah, Robert the, Robert the doll. Fucking creepy. Why are you making fun of people's pee? I'm saying it's creepy. He a creepy doll. 
who always follows you. It's got a wooden eye always watching. And there's a creepy doll. Damn, that's spooky. No, DJ, that's spooky. That's too spooky to be I'll real. I'm gonna key. say. I'm gonna say spooky RP done. Spooky roleplay done. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, like oh man, judgment. I had a I had a really like cool idea for like an upgrade system for like a spooky uh, RPG. Spooky. And basically, it was the Ouija board. As you got a you got to pick a, a letter or two mm-hmm, when mm-hmm, you leveled mm-hmm. up. So you bought a letter, and then you would make uh, you would make words with it. So you'd intentionally like, hey, uh, I have halibird or sword, and it gives you a plus one to your uh, all your sword uh, sword moves to all your characters. Yeah, so it gives like, you that sounds huh? shit. Why is that shit? <laughs> But that that would be a uh, it would be in an RPG t- system. Like the intent <laughs> is that you uh, you're moving the little triangle around. Wait, so and I'm you dead? Just... No, you're not dead. You're in an uh, alternate plane of re- uh, reality, known as hell. I mean, you can call it hell, but you d- you're not dead. But you. T- hmm. Sure. You're not. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. But uh-huh. you're not. I'm sorry. I mean, if you if you want to. You know, guys, get 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 threatening me. No, I'm not threatening you. I'm not threatening you. It's no. Violence. Satire, satire. Violence. That's what I know from uh, Forgotten Realms. Astral pl- plane, yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's just so... like, guys, you're not dead. You're just not breathing. So yeah, it, you would use the Ouija board, and you would type in like a uh, pugilist, like the word pugilist, and you would get a new class. Or you typed in uh, guardsman. And, like, in the game, it would say, like, in the uh, conversations, like, this knight over here, and it would intentionally give you new words. What? And you could pick those classes, and you could upgrade those classes. Why am I dead? I like, huh? But why am I dead? You're not dead, though. But then, but you're not. Why? What? Yeah, but sense. you're not. No, it was. It's a thought for a like a RPG upgrade system. Why do I have to die to make this possible? It's uh, but you don't have to die to make it possible. Okay, why does someone have to die to make it possible? <laughs> No, somebody's just in the astral plane, and that's how they upgrade their uh their stuff. The place only dead just... people can go. No, other living people can go there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure, sure. 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 Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. And yeah, like I it would be filled with uh creepy pastas and stuff like that. Intentionally, like, kind of flipping it on its head. Creepypastas, like one of your companions would be a uh, a Slenderman uh, person. Yeah, I'm not following. And then one of them would be a uh, a like living statue. I'm not following. Hey, freshly baked croissants. Oh, hi, freshly dried cum. I almost had a heart attack today because your cuteness was too much for my heart to handle. No, why would oh, you thank do that? You freshly. Why don't you scare um, him with your with your ugliness? 
I know. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry, freshly baked croissants. My headcanon to the D&D universe is Forgotten Realms, like uh, from R.A. Uh, Salvatore's uh, bo- uh, books. All I remember from the D&D books is that uh, they hate Dresden. They, uh, the creator of Dresden hates Dresden. Because he was not creating Dresden, he was creating another character. And he needed a mentor for, uh, for his character. And the mentor became more popular than the main character itself. And he's like, uh, not Dresden, Dritzed. That's all I remember is that he hates Dritz. I was joking, just wanted to do a dumb flirt to make y'all's day better. Well, thank you. I mainly know the Dritz. Uh, yeah, everybody knows the Dritz shit. He's fucking, yeah. he's fucking OP and stupid. Don't he's also eyes. uninteresting. I actually don't like Dritz at all. Just because, like, I don't know what it is about him. There's something about him do you think that does torso? not make him... Do you think it should be wider? Let me see. I will see in just a second. The more match on no one's fucking curvy in you. <laughs> no one's curvy in this show. So what, what were you asking? Torso. Uh, torso? I, I think it looks good. Curvy. I think it looks fine. I don't find your nuts. Yeah. Yeah. That's on the suffer. Yeah, Cadbury or some. Yeah, Cadbury. Yeah, Cadbury is not. Delivery? Good That's an okay entry. font. It's good font. Not a good love interest. Whoa. Rude. Someone worked hard on that font. Yeah, you're gonna need to take that back, or else you might be canceled. I might be canceled. You know what? That's fine if I'm canceled. You know uh-huh, what? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm ex- I'm excited about it. There you are, shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, girl. Sure you are, girl. You know what? Let me get rid of this. No need for it. Oh yeah, Full Metal Alchemist song. One Goat Wishes uh, wasn't in the anime, huh? Uh, that's my wish. I I had no idea. I'm surprised. I didn't know I was that picky about songs in anime. Yeah, you're a little bit of uh, an asset when it comes to that. That's true. What? I had no idea that I was this person. I I'm so sorry. That's weird. Since how would you not? How did you go so long? Not how did I go so long without knowing I was an asset? I don't without know. knowing you existed. That's like uh, that's so weird. That's that's very weird. How how could I have gone so long and worked so hard to not know that I exist? And in the end, it doesn't even. <laughs> It's crazy. I see twos.
He want, uh, wanted a powerful sword. Uh, my first son's dad is the DM, so he gave him a sentient sword, but he doesn't know it's a sentient sword, so he has him roll randomly for will checks, but he doesn't know. Ah. Oh. He's a huge Gary Stew. Damn. Those Gary Stews. Damn them. Damn them and their himbo, stupid himbo powers. Damn them all and their powers of himbos. No until go. What? What about it? Wait. What do you mean? So the chaotic uh neutral triton with a pirate background. This guy is so much a of a Mary Sue that he Wow, was... hey Cut, you wanna be famous? Oh yeah, I wanna be famous, yeah, of course. Wow. Mary yeah. Kate and Ashley famous, of course. Backstory to say he views my PC as an enemy uh, because he's vengeful. He's vengeful of saying he'd crush her and stuff. This oh, is an enemy of the state. That, that is true. Wow. What would you do with that? told me privately if he tries to kill my PC from him being a Mary Sue, his character will die. He's uh. To make it where my PC has a poison dagger the size of a hat pin, and he uh, needs to make a 27 uh, plus saving throw. Try and negate his stupidity. I would What's say happening? the answer I would tell him out of game hey, don't do that. I would tell him very nicely outside of the game, like, hey, bro, don't do that. Don't attack. Either, you know, just get over it, your character just gets over it, or or maybe, hey, is there any way we could write in, like, maybe have, like, a whole thing of, like, ah, oh, man, no, now he trusts you. It took a bit, and now I'm so sorry that I just, I distrusted you at all. You saved my life. You're part of this crew. Part of the crew. Yeah. He's How almost nails off party two. TPK, the campaign just started. Damn. Oh, that looked nice. I like that. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I played a himbo kobold paladin that all he wanted was a warm cup of tea and cuddles he was scared to hurt people uh too much so in combat any enemy that would put a conscious was non-lethally and took care of them until they woke up and would let the enemies go away oh that's sweet yeah what well, they don't want to go away. and 
What if they're giant spiders and want to eat you? Just saying. Giant spiders just want to eat you. They do be dick friends, no... though. Oh, yeah. not mine. Yeah, they may be dick cunts. Are we in the universe and Rick and Morty with with uh, s s psychic spiders? No. You don't watch Rick and Morty? No, I don't watch Rick and Morty. Wow. The like in the universe, they get it's the I don't remember the, the main plot, but I remember the subplot because it's funny. So first, that's just says them going to like another universe because it has like the best ice cream in like the multiverse. Mm. They're like, wow, why don't we just live here? And it's like, well, because every every universe has its downsides. Like, we had like this universe of like twelve nine eleven, <laughs> and also there's giant psychic spiders that want to eat your brain. It's like, oh, that's not. Yeah, I don't want to live here anymore. That's about it. This, this place sounds like it sucks. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it does. Just come here for ice cream, and then. Later at the end of the episode, after some side plot shenanigans, there's like a scene where like the the psychic spider people make peace with the U.S. president, <laughs> and and then it turns out because they they've reached peace, the the ice cream now sucks because they put like flies in the ice cream for the spiders. <laughs> and then they get really mad. They're like, "What the fuck? Why did you make peace? You fuck it." <laughs> You ass, how dare you? It's a very funny episode. Watch Rick and Morty. I, I, uh, uh, there was too much hype to it, so I just didn't want to watch it. Okay. I know. It happens. Alright, so. My Triton uh, was rolled up literally minutes before the game, so everything is tied around her race due to lack of time. Oh, okay. She's still alive via character sheet, just haven't played her. She wouldn't uh, mesh with this party. There'd be too much in-party conflict. It would make them unconscious non-lethally and would leave his rations next to them so they had a nice snack. Oh, that's nice. That's weird. Oh, don't worry. They had a light snack. You cringe. You cringe. <laughs> they go hypothetical, you know? If you woke okay. up and you were like you were you were t you were tied to a chair in like a in like a abandoned warehouse, and okay. there's like goons. I don't like this already. Yeah, there's like goons standing next to you. They got they got uh, oh, they got fuck. guns because they can make sure you stay you stay tied up. And then fuck. from from the shadows, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Heath Ledger uh -huh. Joker comes out. <laughs> oh God. And he, 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 like, squats in front of you, so he's at, like, eye height. Oh, shit. And he, you know, he starts having a, a ramble. You don't actually know what the fuck he's talking about, because it's Joker. And he goes, yeah. and he asks you, why is, <laughs> why is so gay? Okay. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> I guess... Oh, it's Heath Ledger Joker? Well, I guess I don't know what to say to keep myself alive. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> so, no, he's asking if you're gay. Know. He might buttfuck you instead. You don't know. No, eh, it's his Heath speech, Ledger his Joker. Speech is he different is now, sexually though. attracted to nothing. Is it, I'm... Instead of asking why so serious, he's asking why you're gay. Um... None of your fucking business? <laughs> you died to a chair, I think. It's not uh, a good idea. I'm just saying, like, I don't know what to say. Like, I would <laughs> ask him, why the fuck are you asking me that, bro? Weird. It says, we live in a society. I don't know if that was audible on the screen. I, I did the lip smacking yeah. thing. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. I mean, multiclassing in 5e just doesn't really work, but, I mean, that sounds like it, you're having fun. I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna go pee, and I'll be right back. As your publicist, I would advise you not this multiclassing. You may be cancelled. You may be cancelled. I'll go pee, I'll be right back. Why so...
I will be Johnny yeah. Depp. What? That cat said something dumb and I don't know what it was. You know, I'm tired of listening to this music. I want none. I want no music. Oh, I feel like I'd rather go silence. I don't want the music. With the music. Mm. I think this hand looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh god, that's offensive. Mm. I'm back. Wow, well, go cringe, kind of low key. Low key, cringe. Whoa! Don't no don't. It's a bit here, cringe. Well, now why would you choose cringe over over your wife? Huh? Would I choose cringe over my wife? I said why? No, because you did. You didn't. That was the choice. This is what I did. That was your. That was the choice you made. Soldier. But I, I decided. You did, yeah. Mm -hmm. I decided cringe. I chose cringe over the regular choice. Well, you do that a lot. So, no, not a big surprise. Mm. Mm. So now it has been saved. <gasps> Whoa. And now that's what it looks like, and it looks damn good. Damn good. Yeah, Point of Mater said, like, Point of Mater said the N word in the bars. I was like really shocked. I had to cover my my cousin's ears. Oh, it doesn't do that. Oh, okay. disintegration is such a shitty spell. My God, Why as it does eighty four damage, doesn't it? I don't know. I think it blows up anything under like a stupid low amount of health. Let me check. I'll check. Integrate. Pretty sure it's shit. I know it's shit, but I don't know what it is. Uh, a thin green ray spring. Uh, I just opened it. Shush. Okay. How? Uh, 
That's my name. There any savings on a on a fail take ten d six plus forty force wait. Wait, yeah. Or f force damage. If this attack reduces them to zero, they go poof. What level is this? Six. Disintegration. It's a ten d six plus forty. So it automatically does a forty. Yes. No, poor ba poor baby. Why would you cry? Goat's Mama favorite pastime is disintegrating orphans. Damn. Sorry for adding you, but you know some people just some people deserve to know the truth. Baby started crying. Why did your baby start crying, goat? What's wrong with Nyx? Oh, oh, poor baby, DJ. Poor baby. Why did my baby start crying? I don't have a baby. If yeah, you're talking shit. about, if shit. We, you're talking about Kirk boy. He doesn't cry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you cried like many times today. I have cried many times today. But I'm not the baby. The truth comes out. But I'm not baby man. The truth comes out. What the truth, it come out. Baby man, Zara Unity mess. Well, that's slander. Don't you feel <laughs> silly? Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel a little ashamed? No. I feel none of those things. Well, you should. Well, Why should, should, should I? I? What? What? What's gonna happen if I feel ashamed? Nothing, because it's the correct thing. Morally correct for you to be ashamed. So, come. Too bright. Just give me the night. Doesn't mean I am night. I wonder if anything will even show up if I try looking at hands and Yu Gi Oh! since it's not a common art style at all. Right. Cool. Yeah, this is what, exactly what I expected. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Oh, look, nothing. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Nothing. Stop. Can't believe there's dumbasses who think Yusaku's ace monster is Firewolf Dragon. It's not. Uh, it's, it is? I can't believe it. I thought it wasn't. I'll destroy but... you. Now, why would you say something like that? Because truth? Like, what do you mean? Why would you? Why would you be like that? Why would I be like what? Why would you say. But it's a good meme, but why some people do it wrong friend? and it bothers me so much. What? Like, that's the meme of Yugi when he's shaking hands with a Tem. People will, like, edit Yugi to be, like, someone else, like, Obama, or, uh, uh, what's, uh, Hulk Hogan, or, like, Gordon Ramsay, and, like, edit, mm -hmm. like, funny text about it, like, like, Gordon Ramsay's just like, goodness, boy, that, that duel was, was simply delicious, or something. <laughs> and shit like that. But it bothers me so much, because they, they're, they're right-handed shaking. And some people will just, like, somehow find, like, a picture of Obama, like, left-handed shaking, and then edit it in. They're like, but it looks wrong. How? No. Use the... 
it's not that hard to find people shaking with their right hand. That's the like default hand. Yeah. Even if you're left-handed, that's the default hand. Yeah, because everyone else people... is right-handed. Yeah. How do you fuck up by finding so many left-handed handshakes? I have a few saved, and I only save. Why the are you right doing? Hand. But. Damn, uh, 338 in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, well, that's good that it's uh, 338 in Montgomery. I, I don't understand. Also, freshly baked croissants. Thank you for pointing out a flaw in my immortal uh, character design. Not a flaw in your bowl. Did you? Uh, I I mean, there are many flaws in many buttholes. Not mine. You have a perfect butthole. Ah. Obviously, dumbass. Obviously, obvi dumbass. Like, how am I the dumbass? How are you? Huh? Because you are? It's like, well, what was our unity master? I thought we were close friends. I thought we were good friends. I have to think of all the extra shit that you put on to most. Can't go look at memes. I found one of the images that I have. That's good. It's not that hard to find a character right hand shaking. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's not that hard. That's. It's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, they chose to compromise the size of the hand so that Hank is like actually looking, making eye contact. Right. Which is a fine compromise. Makes sense. No, it's just I don't know if people don't have an editing program, but I would I, the only change I would make is I might actually go through the effort to change the hand to be the color of Hank's hand. <laughs> right. But no, it's not. No one's gonna do that. <laughs> How the heck am I going to deal with this integration? You don't. It Lady Foxtrot, the answer is you don't uh, You don't get spotted to get hit by disintegration. That's how you deal with it. Just tick, just tick the L. Take invisibility. Tick the L. I'll take and the then L. hope they the don't have uh, detect magic up. That's kind of a spell you have to be actively casting, so... Yeah. And I just cast it once and it does a thing. I don't like detect magic. Oh, boring. Kind of boring, yeah. Uh, just because I, I don't like... I just don't like using because it's like... Like, oh cool, I made a magic object glow, that's kind of cool. And then, like, then it turns out a lot of DMs are stupid and don't plan for it, because that's a common... They hate it, for not a good reason, they're just like, oh, I hate when my players use it. It's like, well, then, play yeah. around it, dumbass. Yeah, play around it. Like, Point. do it's I stuff. do I detect anything magical? Actually, you do. Does it even, I think oh. maybe it also tells you the school. Yeah, that's it tells fun. you the school. It tells you the exact school, which that's the one thing that I have a problem with. Is that like, that's I not just... even that strong because some of the schools are just improperly labeled in on um, spells, so it's already yeah. kind of just a wild card. Yeah, you uh, like uh, healing illusion... magic should entirely be necromancy. Yeah, but no, healing... a lot of it's evocation. 
Yeah, evocation. Transmutation is often accident. No, I mean, uh, enchantment or transmutation. Which wait, is enchantment? I DM'd. One? Is enchantment one in D and D? I forget. Yeah, enchantment. Yeah, enchantment uh, is and... often accidentally listed as like evocation. Yeah. It's like, huh? It's not an evocation spell. It's an enchantment spell. It's like I've given this object. Like I think glyph of warding is like evocation or something. It's like hmm? it shouldn't be. <laughs> but I have been a DM uh, for two years, and it's a uh... see within thirty feet. You sense magic, and a faint aura is visible to everyone around you. In sense magic, and you learn. A school of All magic, right. if any. How can something not have a school of magic? The schools of magic kind of cover um, everything. So, like, there are schools of magic. Uh, so, like, there is, like, I think if uh, Celestial has it, there is no school of magic. No. So, like, they're technically, like, magical creatures. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is no school of magic for magical creatures, I think. That's what I think it is. I think that's what that for. Sure. <laughs> also, uh, you should always expect to lose your character and just accept that your character might be lost. That is the whole point. If you have a good DM, they'll try to make sure that you don't lose it. But if you are literally going to, you know, walk in and be a dumbass, it's not the DM's fault. You did it to yourself. Fuck around and find out is the best DM method. Yeah, like, uh, hey, I'm going to start a bar fight. Okay, Roger all right. That. This is, you're probably going to be fine because these people are literally like, Regular NPCs. Well, a bunch of players got mad one time when it's like the plot hook was that they got a. The plot hook was they were going to meet like a a local lord, and then they immediately tried sneaking in instead of going in the right way. And I'm like, several guards spot you, six in total spot you. They all have crossbows. They all have really good initiative. You're fucked. Right. You're level one. And they ran Why and got you... they got fucking pin needled. <laughs> Yeah, why did you do this? Yeah, that's what I yeah. expected. I don't know what you expected, but uh, you tried to fuck with, like, but yeah, you. I think they killed. They successfully killed one, and I was like, four more show up because they sounded an alarm. Obviously, but, you're trying to sneak into yeah. the Lord's well, fucking place. I would have made a percent, made them make at uh perception checks or find out what their like passive perception is, and then like if they don't, if they didn't meet the threshold, they wouldn't have seen the guard, one of the guards, run over and then uh ring a bell. That would have been my. I think I started it. it with literally. You are spotted, and they sound an alarm. <laughs> and I tell you to, yeah. to fucking not. <laughs> and then they were like, "How about we fireball and run away?" And I'm like, oh, "Well, how about you uh, get pinnedled across this? Because that's the plot hook now." How about you uh, get get fucked and get nay nay? Like, that's how funny. Well, good. That's a bit, that's a bit far. <laughs> but that's a that's a little that's a little crass. That's a little bit crass, don't you think? Fuck, what's that one animator? Ah, uh, because I I the only line I can remember from like one of his best videos is is that oh that's crass you're crass and they start having a fucking fight. Fuck, oh, what's his name? I'm trying to remember one of the titles of his videos. It's like one of them's like where they like they like they're singing the Halo song like it's a bunch of guys, and it gets interrupted by like someone playing like Mario on the DS, and they start like getting mad at each other. Oh fuck! Uh, Halo theme song. Funny, I don't know. 
typing in shit that would might make it show up. Halo theme song. Mario DS. No. Fuck, anyone know that animator's name? I have to type in to get his content. He makes really funny animation. Funny man. He funny man. Fuck, what's another name? Okay. Funny man. My ex, the DM, doesn't like point uh buying, so I asked him why the hell he allowed his character in. Wait. Well, what's this about? Uh. So that lawful stupid cringe lord apparently has twenty strength at, at level three, uh, by point buying. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. I mean, you, you the max you point buy you can get is an eighteen. He cheated. Yeah. You're not legally yeah. allowed to buy anything higher than an eighteen Unless, point buy. What's his uh? What's his race? Oh yeah, plus two. But yeah. still, well, that's that's fine. Yeah. The way you made it sound like that he like somehow got it with. 20 by the default, so it's wrong. Uh, fuck, what's this, guys? Where did it all? Oh, no. Okay, anyone know the anime I'm talking about? Wait, it starts with, like, Brett. His name has, like, Red at the beginning. Red, uh... Red... Mate, Red, like, M, I think? Anyone hmm. I am tangenting on this cliff, aren't we? He's a lawful good Goliath. Oh yeah, Goliath. Yeah, he's got a plus two in strength. Oh, oh, why did he allow a a Goliath? No, but sus. That's fucking. That's weird. That's weird. I wouldn't allow a Goliath, that's for sure. Only because, like, one, it'll be mm -hmm. the most difficult thing ever to fucking pilot around. Oh, okay. Sounds like he's unfun to play with. How does everybody else feel about him? That's kind of stinky. That's kind of stinky. That's kind of that's kind of cringe, boo. How do I find the guy?
They despised it. The Codium uh, told him his homework was to research how to play a lawful good character. Damn. That's never good. What did I somehow get? Johnny Depp trial videos from what I'm typing. That doesn't even make sense. How did I? How? YouTube, how did you do this? No, because it, it knows you're interested in that as well. No, but that's not what I typed. Mm -hmm. I know that. I know that because it doesn't know what you're uh what you're asking. So it gives you like, well, we couldn't find that. But what, oh, can we interest you in something else? No. Oh. It's like we couldn't find uh we couldn't find what we had in the back stock. But we have this. Does anyone in chat know the anime I'm talking about? <laughs> oh damn. That's that's not healthy, DJ. It's not very nice. So sus. It's not very nice, but also, you know, maybe he needs to be a better player. He needs to get good. Yeah. Not suck as much. I'll not make something. everybody want to not play. I'll go something. Which is, uh... Which is not good for anyone, especially the DM. Who's probably like, I want to keep this campaign going. I love I love DMing for you guys. Right. <laughs> Dang, I can't. I use nothing. He does it to himself because he followed me around. Followed me around the living room out of game talking about his cringe lord. My husband asked if he needed to take care of him. If he keeps it up, uh, we're going to start docking his XP because he's a new player. So they're trying to help him learn the game. Oh, okay. But it isn't an RPG video game where your character is the universe hero. Yeah, true. I think this thumb. I I like characters that are completely oblivious. That's funny. That's funny when the character is completely oblivious to like normal things. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, that that looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. You did a great job. Looks like a thumb. He looks like a thumb. He plays him like a neutral evil mental case. Oh, damn. What is he? What do you mean? Like, that's that's the opposite of what he's going for. What? It's booba time. It booba time.
That's why we're going to dock XP if he doesn't do his research from not playing the character right. Oh, okay. Why is he trying to get all the glory? He's a paladin. The whole point is not to take any glory and to be uh, righteous. Oh, but not self-righteous. Actually righteous. Following your own laws you and the laws of your god. Huh? You ever met a paladin bit? Uh, I have played a pal of paladin, a paladin before. I played a paladin before, and they and I played such a good paladin that literally I was told like, "Hey, keep coming. We love the free heals. We yeah. love the heals, and we love your character." He was literally he was that character where everybody's like, "Oh man." He he's the good guy. He's the he's the hero. I literally would uh, intentionally do like any time that they were like, oh, we're sneaking into this uh, mansion. And I'd be like, OK, you guys go do that. When everything goes wrong, I will be waiting right outside the windows. But I will not be I will not come in. You're you are not, legally going in there, come. right? Yeah, no, no, la, la, la. you are legally going in there, right? I know nothing of your crimes. Go ahead. Uh, go to the party, go to the party, pooper. <laughs> no, like the whole point. <laughs> no, he should have zero in stealth. He should have a lot in sleight of hand to steal shit back, because that's always funny. To be like, well, that's mine now. He's a paladin dual, a monk dual class, apparently. Well, that that's fine. But you lose out on the whole, like, heavy armor aspect so he doesn't have any uh so he's just a shitty paladin like you you're supposed to take hits and the whole thing of monk is you're never supposed to be hit uh you can tank as a monk you can cool, uh, right? m5e yeah Okay. We're all about getting people's faces and fucking them up. I'm done. I'm doing the boob leading. I read. What? Or... What? Hold up. Does that make any fucking sense, Zara? What? He's still in heavy armor, and he's a monk. Yeah. Eh. Well, like some of your abilities are limited by armor as a monk. I thought like you can't make two attacks. Let me check. Let me check. I'll when I'll raid first, and I'll check. Yeah. Wait, wait, no one's on me. That's yeah. died. And the like, two people I follow online are fucking giants. Go art chain. I played a warlock in medium armor. Yeah, but warlock doesn't lose anything in medium armor. And in fact, there is a uh, is a path that has medium armor proficiency. Oh wow, so far the biggest person on army. That's neat. Okay, I follow her and I opened art and it was like uh, she's the biggest art streamer literally at this very second. Yeah, Good for you. yeah, you win Hexblade, exactly! There's what? literally... There yeah. Ooh, this person's art, and that person's... Yeah, Vengeful Oath. Oh, you gotta show me. You know, I'll be reading them, so shut up. Uh, they're the first person I saw there. I've only been on for like a minute, I think. Or is that an hour? Since 1 a.m., one hour. Did you take the, uh... 
how did you go with the rogue uh slash uh ranger because i can see that being i i saw horseback i wanted to see what horseback combat was i mean like. it was like what's the rules and i hit okay on their rules before running them What's the rules? What's the, what are what your is your rules? rules section, you fucking fuck? Why do you have to make me open a fucking PNG to read your rules? God damn it. Um, okay, fine. That's the basic rules. Got it. Okay. Night-night. Night.